Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tides of Death. How are my favorite cast members doing today? Hmm? Are your favorite? Uh, me and Nick are good. Absolutely. No, <laughs> Unquestionably. <laughs> Way nice. to shit on Destiny. What the fuck? <laughs> True. Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. I went to a Vietnamese restaurant just before I got on here, had pho, which is such a great food. Love it's that. It's great, yeah. I got new glasses today, and I'm still getting used to them because I didn't get my eye check, eyes checked for like four years, and I'm my, one of my eyes got like double as bad, so now I'm like super getting used to the new glasses. But um, mm -hmm. otherwise, I'm doing good. Nice. What about you, Sale? I'm doing great. I, uh, I had a nice chill weekend. I'm living life. I can do whatever I want. It's all good. Nice. Mr. Mooton, you're looking chipper. And well, um, I've been winning league, so I'm feeling nice. great. Hell yeah. That's a dangerous thing to base your happiness on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the only thing I base it on, though. So you've been spinning the slots, made a lot of money today, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, where last we left our party, you were in a town on an island. There's a bit of trouble, I recall. And, um,. Someone want to give a better recap than that? Because you're at the base of the tower now, but how did we get here? How did we get to, okay. to the four of you assaulting a, a citadel? Nilrim, Nilrim went into a tavern, and as he does, he fucked everything up. So there was basically a bunch of revolutionaries there who were ready to go in arms, and Nilrim actually caused the reverse effect, and he actually got them all on board with the White Prince. It was yeah. quite was the miraculous thing. It was like, I, we were it was the worst case perfect. scenario. <laughs> we were yeah. perfect. Oh, wait, cool. wait. We're kind of missing part of the story here, right? <laughs> Does uh, somebody want to give a full recap? I can do it, but I'll, I'll, offer, it. Yeah, I'll offer it up to the table if anyone else wants to take it. I just it. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna it was the worst case scenario. Is I had a major ADHD episode for the last hour of the show, so I'm, I'm not really sure what happened. All right. <laughs> so it starts it off. We just made it back to the base. We had a new prisoner who was an accountant for the White Prince. And uh, we kind of came back after a bit of a time skip, right? Like a week or two, everyone was sort of healed up. We taught, Nilrim kind of tortured the accountant a little bit, and then we played a bit of good cop, bad cop, eventually moved him into a room, sent him through the, uh, the Rohi kind of induction ceremony thing, branded the guy. So it kind of made him a full-fledged member of the squad. I feel like an accountant's a good guy to have on hand, so... Um, we, uh, we tried to get him on board. We had a bit of role playing with little Bobby and Wiley. And then Sale got a strange message from his deity informing him that he was to go to an island that Neil will now remind me the name of. <laughs> I think it was like Jarumba or something Jumuba. like that. Jamuba. Jamuba, yeah. He was like, there's a guy called Father Hubert. He's making a trip to Jamuba. He must not complete his journey, I think was the wording. So we kind Father of Father Hubert must not survive his trip to Jamuba. There you go. Father Hubert must not survive his trip to Jamuba. Um, so we, not knowing where Father Hubert was coming from or who he was, our only lead was to go to Jamuba. So before we left, John headed down to see Nightingale, gave us some of the silver that we'd looted from the ships to pay off some of the debt. And then uh, after that, the crew set sail for Jamuba, which was a an island on the east side of the Outer Ring. Uh, we got there to find a very limited White Prince presence, and we headed to the tavern to get the lay of the land, see if we can't find out who Father Hubert was. And uh, while we were there, there was a group of youths youths causing trouble in the tavern bickering and cursing the white prince and how he was a you know bad guy and maybe they should try and overthrow him and there's not that many guards on the island and uh, we kind of took this opportunity to get involved you know we got the bartender to lock the uh, bar up and have a bit of a lock-in with us and we started trying to encourage them to dissent against the white prince but uh, things got a little bit out of hand some there was some misunderstandings and then nilrim in all his minimal wisdom, uh, killed one of the youths, thereby turning them completely <laughs> against us, uh, outing us as the crimson first. <laughs> what did he say? He had a, he had a, said he had a small dick or something, right? If that yeah. helps you justify it. 
Yeah, Nilrum was showing yeah. off his impressive <laughs> magic of bringing an entire ship into the bottle. Right. And uh, yes. they didn't understand, and they just made fun of him for his tiny ship that he was the, you know, captain of or you know, leader of or worked on. I'm yeah, and I, and I will say we rolled for dick size, and those small dick comments were unjustified. So honestly, <laughs> yeah. honestly, yeah. like, yeah. yeah, it hit harder. Yeah. Um. So after that, I followed them out of the bar in secret and observed them talking to other members of the town, saying who we were, talking about maybe trying to kill us, speaking to some of the guards, um, which was interesting. I then followed one of the guards back to the keep, and after a bit of messing around, killed him just outside the keep in a surprise attack, and then met up with the rest of the crew, and we decided, you know what? Fuck these guys. Um, Hubert will be here in a couple of days. Let's deal with the guards now. Loot the keep. And then when Hubert turns up, we'll deal with him too. So that's Hell kind of yeah. where we ended up, just outside the doors to the keep, having stepped over the corpse of the man I already killed, ready to uh, bust down the door and crack some skulls. And this is why it's my favorite campaign. We're not afraid to get our hands fucking a little dirty, you know? Your Doom hands Discoria. are already. Yeah, that's that's way way to put it, yeah. <laughs> Doom they're, we're pussyfooting around. This campaign, yeah. we got the guts to do what it takes. Mm -hmm. There are no moral obligations in this campaign. Well. <laughs> to further set the stage, it is night. It is late, late in the night. Some might say in the early hours of the morning. One of the heavy guards from the keep is dead. The party is gathered at the base of the hill. The Sorry, night. just before we carry on. Would you say that's a five or a 10% recap? Oh, for recap? Nothing. I don't you think we've been giving experience for recaps, just for pirate okay. facts. Right, okay, sorry, just carry on. Well, just try. <laughs> this is the only reason he did it. Appreciate the effort. Uh, Absolutely. You're at the base of the hill at the back of the town, looking up the winding path that ascends to its crest, where there is a nine-story, well, eight-story tower, nine including the, the rooftop. It's a square tower. Uh, about this size and these dimensions. You can see that there are like small windows on either side of the front door. Um, from your earlier positioning in towns, you can see that there are windows along the sides and this big like bulging thing out back. Um, at the front gate, there is at the front of the, the tower, there's a big heavy double set door there. And this whole thing is raised up on a hill that's maybe 60 feet. Uh, uh, higher than the, the ground of the town around it. Um, all right, I turn to the crew and say, all right, you guys ready? And I will, uh, I take a step forward towards the door. I <coughs> clear my throat and um, I start banging frantically on the door. Hey, hey, help, get out here. Someone's killed one of the gods. While he does that, can I cast Bless on the party? Yes, but we're not quite at the top of the hill yet. Oh, You're at the base of the hill. Oh. So you guys all just ascend together in one group to the top. I want to make sure that we're all in, you know, appropriate well, positions no, no. amongst each other. I would say so. Is the yeah, captain think, at the top probably, of the hill and everyone else is at the bottom? Yeah. I think probably the captain should go first, and then we're going to, like, follow. Can you set the stage for how the hill works? Is yeah. it like one road leading up to like a big tower? Or? Yeah, it's a, a 60 foot hill and there's like a little path that winds back up, uh, up and back and forth. Um, the incline is maybe, you know, 20 degrees. So the path itself is like uh, 300 feet or so. It takes a full round, maybe two rounds to climb the hill because you got to go uphill the whole way uh, along the path. If you wanted to maybe not go along the path, we can make some strength checks to see if you could do it faster or something like that. Uh, Okay, and, um, there's not much let's all there. Let's move at like it's a frantic pace, I guess. Just the tower. The let's move at like a frantic pace, like we're worried about it. Yeah, okay, sure. Because so we're going to set this, yeah. The whole party together is going to go up the hill then. Yeah. Right. Up the hill you go. You can see lights on in the tower. Lights coming out of the ground floor. Lights coming out of the uh, third and fourth floors. And you can see some like lights dimming on the four, uh, fifth floor and then lightning on the sixth, letting you know that there's someone moving around in the tower with a lantern or a torch or a, a, a candle or something, helping to illuminate the area. 
party together arrives at the base of the tower just around the time that a torch springs to light at the very top of it. Now, from your position way down at the base of the tower, you can kind of see things lighten. You can't really see what's happening way, way at the top on the ninth floor. All together at the base now. He's going to pour something on us. I just bang on the door like I just did, you know, mm-hmm. help. And after that, I'll look up to the light and I'll say, hey, we need your help. A stern voice calls from the inside. Who goes there? My name's Captain Watsford, a traveler. Somebody's been murdered in the town, a guard. We've been alerted. Please hold your positions. No one will step back a few feet. Yeah. Um, um, I'll kind of like say quietly to the group, is this a signal to call for help from passing ships? I don't know. It's just a lot. Is that what, right? is that what they do? They light fires on top of towers to do that here? Perhaps a lighthouse. I'm not sure that the ship would see that. From yeah, the top of the tower, a beacon lantern blazes out and shines down onto the lot of you from well above. You look up, mm-hmm. you can't really see who's doing it, just the blinding white spotlight of someone way up in the air shining a light down on you. Uh, and I mean, from... He's not got a good view of us. I, I like put my head down. From the inside, you can see that these little windows right here um, darken for a moment and then lighten again. Uh, And the voice, the stern voice from the inside calls out, which ship in the harbor is yours? The merchant's one. I say as I reach, I'm gonna start fiddling around my lockpicks. There's no reply from the other side. Shake my head. Useless, these guards. Um, I'll start trying to pick the lock on the door. Yeah. What is your lock pick chance? I have knock as well. Oh, if you got knock, then fucking let's just go. Yeah, normal. Cast it. Just cast knock. All right, so as he's about to cast knock, I'll say, all right, well, we gave you a chance. Ready your arms. And then open the door, bursts open. I'd so like to get a blessing too. The people. knock spell Archie opens. Archie will ready his arms. <laughs> opens stuff barred, <laughs> locked, held, or wizard locked doors. It opens secret doors, as locked or tricked opening boxes, chests, blah, 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 blah. And it does two per casting. So knock in this case will not only unlock the door, but it will also unbar the door. And that is what is happening here. We've got this set of double doors that would open both of them out towards you. And you can hear the lock untangle itself. And then a whole bunch of cursing from the other side as the bar like bounces up and off and begins to tumble to the ground. Um, The whole party is blessed right now. And Archie goes in the door. Yep, he does. Let me mark you all as blessed so we don't forget. Yes. And Archie, uh, you push open the door. Or attempt to in this situation. Uh I want you to give me... uh, Give me your very best strength check to open the door. Because there no are problem. other people on the other side of this door that are actively trying to hold it closed. Are the other people clones of Archie B. Alder? They are not so. clones so of Archie. So I think I'm going to open this door just like that. That's a pretty good check. But Let me see what their combined strength is effectively against you, Archie. It is not as good as I was hoping. Um, oh no, that's, that's, actually, that's actually not bad at all. That's, that's quite nice. Thanks, press. Okay. So they've got a pretty good chance of holding this door against you. Uh, I'm blessed. Uh, Give him a plus one. Probably a plus one, yeah. No, no, no it's plus one to Some hit saves. and AC, but not and saves, but not strength checks. Oh, yeah. not checks. Um, so the group on the other side attempts Uh-oh. to hold Uh-oh. the door, but Archie being the ridiculous powerhouse that he is, 
throws the doors open. <laughs> He's so overpowered, dude. <laughs> We're just gonna move the door out of the way, and we will reveal uh, what is here. Uh, the door throws itself oh. open, and the lot of guards sort of get pushed Damn, back by it. the force of it, revealing six heavy guards, a knight, and a cleric all on the inside, which immediately all begin, you know, shouting. Now, the doors are split open, and you can immediately see that some of these guards are going to try and just, like, shove the doors back shut on their turn. So we're going to need initiative across the whole board. Do you, uh, uh me? Do you, you huff? Us? Well, I think okay. you huff. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. A fat fucking cock? Hell yeah, he does. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, Koibu, but I'd like to just this one time get a good lightning bolt in one of your campaigns. Mm. Okay, that's a good initiative, too. Ah. Um, cool. You believe they're rolling d20 plus 21. <laughs> <laughs> they still couldn't roll a 27 or higher. There shouldn't be a tiger on the initiative, right? <laughs> yeah, there's no tiger. Just checking it. <laughs> I'm just deciding on a spell. Sorry. Uh. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Mm, and we will split the guards into two groups for simplicity's sake. Um, and do that group and that group. And this guy will. All right, Archie. Literal white knights. Oh my god. Has all got such good initiatives here. Archie throws open the doors. The soldiers stumble back from the force of the blow. And Archie, what are you doing? I'm fucking punching the guy who's closest to me. All right. Step forward. The guard has a spear no out. No one goes at the same time. I don't know if we want to do that as well because I'm oh, yeah. not going to be trying to hit Archie with it. Well, it's going to be a mess. It's a smite it's a yeah. small chamber. You're casting lightning bolt. Uh I'll just take you guys in order, but it's going to be messy. <laughs> Archie, do what you do, my friend. I, my I enemy. Rolled. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just too broken, man. His hat's fallen off this guy. All right, roll me the Oh my god. 12, 12 points damage. of damage as you you know push right past this guard's shield, crack him in the face, his helmet goes flying, his jaw makes this sound, his eyes well with water immediately. Uh, your left hand. All right, that's uh, not my good. Browns by him, gets caught by his spear and just narrowly misses the rest of his face. I'm blessed. Uh, plus one to hit, still not going to do it as okay. Nilrum's spell goes off lightning crackles, thunder rolls. Your mouths have that nasty taste of copper as your hair stands on end and the lightning bolt I'm mounting is just going to bounce around the inside yeah, of this building. Yeah, it's going to fuck them dish, up. Dish, 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 dish. Um, Archie, you're also going to have to make me a saving throw versus spell, as are all of these soldiers. Nice. Her guards will go... These ones are heavy. Quick going? question. Does this get any negative to save due to the fact of it's literally going to bounce multiple times in the room? It, they should technically roll the save every time um, it hits them. They don't take multiple like damages. Spell. They just get they didn't say, know, increasingly yeah, multiple shittier damages. saves. Yeah, it's like more chance to fail, right, basically. It's like super disadvantage then. This is like the yeah. most disgusting spell for close and quarters ever. Yeah, yeah. and you're doing a... Um, 40 foot it's long, gonna be... 10 foot wide, or 80 foot long, 5 foot wide? Um, well, it's 40 yards plus 10 yards per level. I'm trying to... That's the range at like which point the bolt starts. Okay. 80 foot long stroke has begun at a range of 40 feet. Da, da, da. I mean, probably 10 feet wide. 40 foot long. Yeah, however... That way it'll definitely hit everyone. Yeah. 
I mean, technically, he can start the Lightning Bolt after Archie, but I, admittedly, it might still hit him bouncing around. I think the bouncing around it will, yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay. So we're gonna do like a bounce. Down. Yeah, it's just gonna it's gonna bounce all over the place. It's gonna come up here. It's gonna bounce there. It's gonna bounce here. It's gonna bounce there. It's yeah, and it's ten foot wide as well. So it's like yeah, you know, it's most of the size of the room on its own. Yeah. Can so, we just say if we take full damage? Well, I'm gonna roll some saves. Uh, okay. This guy gets one. Oh wow, this guy passed. How much damage did you do? Fourteen. Yep. This guy's so gonna survive. It's your lucky day. No shot. Uh, this is the guy that Archie just hit. Doesn't matter if he succeeds or not. He, he's dead. The one behind will get two saves. Um, okay, you got a 20. Get a second one. First one pass, second one pass. Okay, so this guy's going to fail his in the end and take the full 14. <clears throat> Next guard will get two saves. Doesn't pass either of them. Takes the 14 and dies. Ripped Rip. apart by a bolt of lightning. Uh, and the last two will each get one save. Both failing. Ugh. Another one bites the dust immediately. The last one will live. Our knight. Will one, two, three. Yeah, our knight gets two saves as well. Uh, no good. We'll take the full 14. And our cleric at the end will get one shot. And we'll fail as well. And just immediately go down unconscious right away. Rip. As nice. the whole room blows up. Archie, give me a saving throw versus spell or take... Uh, oh, you did already. Did. already. Okay, excellent. Take seven points of damage, Mr. Archie. And that brings us Jesus to Captain Christ. John Winters. Uh, I take it in. I was going to delay my initiative until after Nilram, so I think I am watching the destruction of the lightning bolt here. Um, I don't want to get killed by that knight, but I can't leave uh, Archie to fight on his own, so I'm going to try and sneak next to him here if, Mar if Archie can move over a bit and I'm just, I'll am i attack this guy on mm -hmm. the right. I think it's not too difficult to reposition yourselves. The room is big enough for the two of you to get in and now with all these people dead and the hair standing on end, the like, deafening shock of the lightning bolt near you, you can make your way in right up to that yeah. soldier. Um, with my rapier, he... Yeah, he's turned, so he gets a shield. And with my dagger... Death saving throw? Death saving throw. Yeah, give me a saving throw versus death. Let's see. Oof, almost. Oof. Um, hmm. I think that you come on in and you stumble over one of these corpses that, like, this guy right here ends up falling into you from the lightning bolt strike as you walk into the room. And there's just, like, a tangle as his spear gets caught between your legs and you trip and you fall prone um, in this space. Sleepy winter striking again. He's mm -hmm. on the ground. No, that's it. About to get excused by this fucking knight, probably. Uh, this guard here was originally supposed to Job's be slamming, die again. <laughs> slamming the door shut. But now there's no way. There's so many dead, and this guy's in the room. And so he Actually, will... wait. Sorry, that is a good point. I probably can't attack that guy, right? Because the door's probably in the way. Well, I mean, if it wasn't going to be him, it'd be one of these other people, uh, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Sure. Well, yeah, I would have attacked someone, but... Yeah, yeah. So I think you just... You stumble on the way in. Um, so this guard... Oh, wait. Does he pass? Because he has a plus one to his... Oh, save. yeah. My save. The bless would work on the death save. It's kind of up to you there if it does. No, because this is, a, think, this is not it is a normal... Um, these are not, like... What? You're not being affected by a thing. This is you rolled a natural one, so we're, like, just instituting a funsies rule. To see if anything yeah, okay. malicious happens. But I'm still, but I'm still blessed with that. No, I mean it's still a saving throw. It's fine if you do it on save, but I, I mean, feel like it should. But it, whatever. I mean, they do improve as you go up with level. Nah, it's fine. We'll leave it at this. Let's more chaos, more fun, right? More True. chaos, more fun. Uh, so with you prone on the ground and the door sort of between you guys, this person will back up the staircase uh, right away. 
And that's <laughs> the only person from that group that's still alive. The Acolyte is dead. The White Knight uh, is in it. He is in it. Uh, he calls for, throw them out! Get them out of here! And he's going to attempt to body check Archie out of the building. <laughs> what a redundant thing to say. <laughs> really? I thought they were slaying potato. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Archie, give me an opposed strength check as this knight shows up with his heavy shield and tries to just shoulder you out of the room. Uh, he gets a 27, Ooh, and you Archie. slip in the blood of the others and just get, like, slammed out as he... Fuck. Uh, shield rushes you, I suppose is the rule. Rush, if so, it's minor. I think so. He should uh, still make a roll to hit now. Yeah, he absolutely should have made a roll to hit. You're right. Uh, it would be... At minus uh, four, probably. Only if he's not, unless he's not attacking with his axe, in which case... No, 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 he's just four. pushing with the shield. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 1d20 plus four, and all he has to do is hit your natural AC 10. I don't, want to I don't think he does because of um, the magic. Ooh, because of the high dex? Yep. Oh, the, well, he the has an uh, armor spell. Oh. oh, no. The same thing that tangles up uh, Nick tangles up the knight. I am sorry, Archie. You are still in the room. He tries to get his shield against you in a way to really push you out. And you can feel it like beginning to hit you and slide against or push you out of the way until it slides to the side and he comes to a dead stop. Yeah. Get bringing his sail into the fold. Yes, I am casting Hesitation, uh, just on all enemy players generally. Excellent. Uh, so I think they roll a save or they get plus four initiative. All right. Huh. Uh, it's two to eight hit dice in one I don't know how that's calculated. Uh, two D8 hit dice or two to eight? Okay, so roll me two D4 for how many hit dice you affect. So you will uh, effectively hesitate these two guardsmen, I believe. Yeah, one of them, apparently, will be hesitated. And his turn would go right now. Uh, I guess there's no one for him to go later then still. So this guard will do the same thing as the knight. And actually, both of them will. This one will, on the side, will push on the door. And this other one will come to the door, and they will use both their strengths together to try and just like shut the door. Ooh, no, one of them has to drag a body out of the way to move the door. So this guy will drag this corpse out and this guy will try to use the door to push Archie. Now the door doesn't require an attack roll because it just closes in place. Um, so give me an opposed strength check against this one guard, Archie. Oh, he does it. He's got a good roll. Archie could botch it again. <laughs> Not a chance, uh, Koi. Good one, Dale. Almost. Not against Archie B. Alder. Just don't refresh your page. You're on the god team. <laughs> well, any uh, anyone got second attacks? I don't think so. Initiative oh. time. Oh my god, dude! He got a one. Oh my lad. He did get a one. All right, he's gonna go here. Guardian is going to go here, but they're hesitated. It's a delay of four? Delay of four. Okay, so this will be 16. And that is it. Archie, still first. The captain is splayed out on the ground before you. There's a knight in front of you trying to get the shield on you as a door is also shutting on you. Multiple people all together Fuck. trying to push you out of the way. Okay. Um, so the, the door is like being pushed against me still. Mm hmm. But can, only can I take an the left half of the door, right? Because it's a, a two a set of double doors. Yeah. Can I take an action to try to shove everyone back with the door? Mm hmm. Absolutely. Give How me that opposed strength check. Got it. Uh, and they will be rolling Fuck. at d20 plus 13. 
their combined strength, Ooh, and they shit. will hold it. Yeah. Uh, you didn't fail, so I'm not going to say you lose ground, um, but okay. as you try to resist the door being shut on you, it, it's not going anywhere. They are yeah. they're holding it good. Nilrum. Nilrum shoots a magic missile, three of them, at the White Knight for eight. Ooh, you were getting wrecked on those damage rolls today. Yeah, yeah. bad rolls. Knight takes a bunch of damage. Sail. Yeah, I'm gonna. I was hoping that Archie would push the door back, to the, and then I'd be able to charge in and get an attack. But since mm -hmm. I can't, can I, kind of like now that I don't have that opportunity, can I instead get behind Archie and push, shove him forward, basically with him? Yes. You wanna like help shove the door with Archie? Yeah, because I can't get an attack in. So I'm like, all right, well, my intention is ruined. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Um, give me. What is a? Uh, we'll just give you guys another combined strength check. What is your strength? 15. Is fifteen. 15. So you've got one seventy max press plus Archie's two twenty max press. Is a combined of three ninety. So one of you will make a d twenty plus. Say will make a d twenty plus. Equivalent strength of 390 is uh, 18. The d20 plus 18 versus there. Uh, so I I already rolled, so I got a 25, I think, if you just add three to my roll. Yeah. yeah. Then... five. Dash 18. Interesting. 1d20 plus 18. Uh, where did that go? 36. Yes. You come up and also shove on the door, and they hold it fast. Not bending, not breaking. Holding stern. Uh, the white knight is going to push with the other guard. Well, fuck that shit. The, he gives up the door holding position that he was on um, for the rest of this round and is going to come over here and just stab the shit out of Nick. Uh, he takes Zax, he brings it up in the air, and he gets a plus four on this, that's a scimitar actually, plus four on this attack as he brings it down onto the back of the captain with an 18. Doesn't actually, oh, that might. I think that'll do it. You're muted. Wait, but... wait. I try and block it with my my free block, right? It's gonna work this time, trust. While you're prone? <laughs> uh, not good I mean, enough. It's yeah. not good enough, but. Yeah. The scimitar comes down on you. Plus D6 plus seven. Okay. Uh, five points of damage to you as he slashes up your backside. Ow. And it becomes your turn, Captain. Is scimitar really D8? Yeah. D6. Is uh, that? There Pretty are a sure lot it's of lower. He has a D8 weapon. We can it's call an it an axe or a scimitar, scimitar or a oh, okay. whatever we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just no, picked a D8 fine. weapon and flavored it. <clears throat> so having like tried to block it with his dagger, but then the sword like rails and like cuts across his arm. Mm -hmm. John's eyes narrow, and he says, "You're gonna regret that." As I uh, scoot backwards and try and get to my feet, I'm ready to kill this guy. Mm -hmm. Can I just get to my feet? Uh, getting to your feet without provoking the attack of opportunity will use all of your movement. Is that right, Neil? Has we done that before? I think it is. It, I think it. I think that is the way we should do it. Okay. What I will do is I will give up my dagger attack to do a second block as I take the attack of opportunity. So go on, take your attack of opportunity. I get to my feet. Okay. Natural twenty. Come on. Uh, eighteen. Oh. Natural twenty. So you do succeed on the block, but not with a lower roll than they do. Yeah. Um, so it still hits. So it will still hit you, yes. And he'll slice you for seven. Right now. What's wrong with this character? Uh, then I attack him. I can get it too, probably. <laughs> oh, you're your own worst enemy, John. You get up. He slashes you across the face. And you attack with the rapier, and it just, <laughs> you know. It actually is a two, yeah. It goes nowhere. Nowhere at all. Uh, the guards are delayed, and together they will uh, heave 
Oh, and try and shut the left side of the door. Um, Sail and... And Archie, one of you roll me your d20 plus 18. They will roll a 1d20 plus 17 because they are weaker without the knight. Archie, you can roll this. 23? <laughs> Not a great roll. 22! Oh. 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 It's a save, technically, so they get... Well, it's, it's a check. check. Just kidding. Yeah. yeah. Um, one side of the door is shut with the two guards back on it. As you hear the knight huh. calling out up the staircase... Help! Oh, this is really bad. Help! Uh, and I do believe. Why don't we just go inside? Why do we care? Second attack. Second attack. Um, no second attack. I I I. I have wait, five. no, I, I, I get one next round, right? No, I need to yeah, do no, you were no, doing door shenanigans. You didn't so. attack. Yeah. yeah. I've so got. So a second why don't we just walk though. inside? Yes, you okay. do. Go for it, Nick. It's um, your turn. Which one's holding the door closed? Uh, the two this soldiers one. over here are both like they both worked to shut that door, while the other one is just like open. We'll but this guy's shield is it not on his back? No, uh, it's on his shoulder. He's or on his arm. He's using it. So to it's push. still defending him. Um, but is he like? Am I getting flank attack on him? Because he's technically like a step forward, right, pushing the door. Uh, if you yeah, he should be yeah. here technically. If you okay. want to face him like this, something like that, um, because they'll be like this. You can get a flank attack on him, but then you'll be facing him, and the knight will get flank attacks on you. Well, if I beat him initiative, I can, I can turn back around next turn, right? He's already gone this turn. Well, so here's combat's a little bit of a weird thing because we're trying to simulate like a, a dynamic situation. So it's not like it's sure, my turn. I, I can turn like this, and make an attack right. and like not give a flank by turning then back to okay, a person. Okay, because it's but all happening actually, sort of simultaneously. So if you're I'm engaging actually like with a person. Right? Sure, but kinda, then all I'm he has to like do this. is take like, one step still... to the side and now he flanks you. What I'm saying is if you want to turn and attack someone 90 degrees to a person who's fighting you, you're going to be giving up a flank uh, as well. There's no way to like get, to to be flank, to present your flank, but not get a flank attack, you know? Because combat yes. attacks are made for like a whole, what you do in the whole round, not just the exact moment that you're there. Um, I'm going to attack him anyway, I don't care. Nice, nice, that's what I like to 16. hear. 16. Uh, he has 17 AC. However, two of that AC um, comes from like fighting style training, which he does not get while holding a door. So the 16 lands. Nice. Slips past the shield. Six runs dodge. into the body. Oh, almost slain, but not quite. And we roll okay. initiative. Right. Guardians. Huh. Is blessed plus one damage? No. Plus one to hit. AC and saves and hit. Yeah. Wait, does it give AC too? No. It doesn't give AC, does no, it? No, I'm lying. Just no, saves just... and to hit, I think. Yeah. But it, it it might. Is it not damage as well? I'm just checking. No, it's prayer that gives the damage, I think. Ah, it's yeah. prayer. Right, yeah, yeah. I think after so many years of playing, we would know these rules, but. Well, no, really played a cleric. That's my excuse. Next, the guy at the shoe shop who's like, Are you sure you don't have it that size? Can you check in the back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your turn, Pokemon? Uh, did everyone. Um, or, well, sorry, your roll to initiate. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. yeah. Your... Are you uh, punching? Are you... I'm oh, punching. Yep, you're punching. All right, it's Archie. actually only saving throws against fear. Oh. Am well, I going to... first again? You are going yeah. first. Uh, the captain the is blocking closed. the doorway. And well, I just kind of realized that I have door. nothing to punch. Um, oh. I, can I can I try to break the door open again? It's like part of my action. Totally, you can try to it overcome would... these people and throw yeah. the door open. That would be I'll your. I'll just try to do it again. Have we agreed in the past that we're allies? You can kind of just push past an ally. In so a tight situation like this, you would inevitably be creating an opportunity attack by trying to squeeze in through there. Um, there's no like if this. If this back wall weren't here, it wouldn't be such a big mm -hmm. deal, but you've got to get within, like, the captain's, you know, he, he's in the act of defending yeah. himself, and for him to squeeze up and let someone get past him lowers his defenses, and they get an opportunity okay. attack against the captain. Yeah. Um, um, sorry, couldn't I have, like, rotated this way? This guy isn't actively fighting, so I wouldn't take an opportunity to attack from him. You could have, probably, yeah, but you didn't. Uh, I will say, okay, if, I, if, if that's how we're doing it, it's fine. 
But so I think it would have made thrown, sense, you know. You thrown open the door? Okay. Yeah. Strength check, right? Strength check. To do it. <laughs> oh. Baby, the door flies off of... Uh, <laughs> it flies through the room, hitting every guard in its path. The door is the guy with one HP just die. Uh, Dealing projectile damage to everything in its path. <laughs> it's uh, like I it's being launched by a crossbow, Koibu. It throws open. One, The more injured guard falls to the ground, slamming his head against the back wall, stunned for a moment. The other one just stumbles against the wall, uh, lets out a scream. Ah, the Crimson is that, Fist! Ah! Is, that, is that my third nap when he this fucking fire? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to have to take care of this. Um, the doors that's my are round, open. Though, right? uh, you can move a little bit if you want, but yeah, that's your round. Yeah, I'll Nil move up a little bit. Here you go. 3d4 plus 3 to White Knight. Nice roll. 14 will do it. Oof. The magic missiles pierce through his armor. He stumbles. He falls. He bleeds to death on the ground. Blech. Sail. Morale? On their turn, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, could I, like, squeeze through here? Because this guy's prone. Oh, yeah. There's plenty. Wait. Squeeze through... This, uh, like through, through, there is a door right here. I didn't show it or call it out, but there's a door separating the front chamber from the back chamber. I, I kind of squeeze past my allies, basically. And totally, yeah. This guy. No problem. All right, yep. Yeah. I'll do that. Uh, he's prone, so it's a plus... Plus four to hit. Uh, 14 uh, is not quite going to do it. At the last minute, he's able to bring his shield round and protect his face from your brape here. Uh, I'm sorry, these guys still have a four delay on their initiative. White Knight is dead, so they go at the same time as Captain Winters. Gone. Uh, okay. Um, the battle is won, isn't it, really? Uh, I take a step back into this corner here. I, uh, hold out my rapier menacingly. And I say, uh, throw down your arms if you want to live. They drop their arms. Put their hands up. And uh, put themselves in a position of submission. Fantastic. Tied them up. Well, we should still do this in combat rounds. One of those guards at the very early onset of combat had escaped up the, oh, up the tower. Who's, Not that. Yeah. Who's, who's the guy who... Fuck, who's the guy who overcame the strength check against Archie? It's, it's two of them, right? It was, the, yeah, it was the two of them them. together. Yeah, because Archie's kind of hurt in his like pride right now, so he's pretty angry at them. He kind of wants to kill them, but then also he's conflicted because like... We agreed as a group that we would keep our promises, and John did yeah. promise that if they threw down their weapons, we wouldn't kill them. Well, mm -hmm. I, I think I pretty quickly say to Archie, like, one of them escaped up the stairs, go and get him. And I'll, like, right. point up the stairs. And I'll, I'll channel my, my rage into that and run up. Chase that guy down. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, you know, I'll pull out some rope and start tying up the these two down here. I will follow Archie upstairs. I think Nora will follow as well, yeah? Yeah, you guys do that. I'll, I'll secure the loot. You guys go and kill the guy. Me and Potato know about walking upstairs after last week's rest of it. <laughs> True. <laughs> all right. So Archie, Potato, and Nilrum all head upstairs. Let's go. Let's go. Do it this way. Um, you quickly head up to the next floor which is the mess hall. There's a kitchen here, there's tables, there's dining things. This little thing over here, um, those are two little shut doors that if you you know bump them open as you're walking through, you can see that it's like a, a little privy with little toilets in the back. Uh, <laughs> Neil, can you put me up there so I can say, please? Sorry. Um, yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, and then as you go to the next staircase, is it Archie in the front? I think so, yeah. Right, make Archie, sense. I will bring you over here. The others, uh, one more person can come up behind you and see, but everyone else is going to be stuck, like not quite able to see what's going on. You can come up the stairs to... i you for a moment over here. Uh, to see uh, that I there is you... a guard 
standing there with a spear you me. leveled down. Did I bring you? Did you not want to go up? Uh, nope, sorry. Just, just kidding. I'm being dumb. Okay, cool. There is a guard at the top of that staircase with a spear um, leveled in your direction, holding that high ground on the staircase with a readied action. If you want to go up to the stairs to meet him, you're going to have to... You'll be provoking his readied action with a bonus of one to hit for high ground. Arch is going to fuck this guy up. Yeah, all right. You walk on up. Our heavy guard here thrusts his spear in your direction. A 12. For- Free block? Uh, free block is a, a success, but he misses, and the, the spear is easily parted to the side. And hmm. the two of you should roll initiative against each other just to see who gets off the first real attack. Dude, I'm. it's just, it's insane today, man. Like, It's just not even <laughs> worth rolling dice. Yeah, he rolls a one as well, but uh, you go ahead. You push the spear, you walk up, you crack him across the chest for how much damage? Eight? Ugh. Oops, no, 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 no. Not minus 88, just minus eight. Um, Second attack. Left hand. Dude, I, I, I'm so sorry, Koibu. He's dead. <laughs> he's just dead. Um, and you can move into the room, see that this looks like some sort of barracks. These are all double um, stacks. These are bunk beds everywhere. Um, and then up to the next zone. Nilrum tagging along behind. Now, John, you're down on the ground floor as the rest of the party ascends these stairs. I am. Um, in my head, prisoners? there's only one guy left. So what I will do is close the doors behind me, put the bar over them after I've tied the two guys up, right? Mm-hmm. Tie the two guys up, bar we the own door. This bitch now. And now I'm going to loot this cleric and this yeah. knight here. Uh, just quick question. What did you have with which to tie them up? Did you... Do you have your backpack full of rope with you? What is your what is your tie-up gear? I mean, I am assuming that I have my rope. Do you in have my rope bag. in your bag? It's yeah. It's on your sheet? 100 feet. Yeah. It's a very piratey thing to have around. Absolutely is. Just, Just want to make on... sure it's on the character sheet. And I got rope skill skill, so it would be stupid not to have rope. Yeah. yeah. It's a quick and easy thing to tie up these disarmed people. Um, and they are now just plopped in the corners. You go to loot the cleric, and you can see that this cleric has just put his clothes on. Like, he's got his armor, he's got his clothes, he's got his holy symbol, but, like, he doesn't have his money on him. He doesn't have any, like, special equipment or gear. His pockets have some lint in them, and there's, like, um, some, you know, small trinket of what he was doing earlier in the day. There's, like, a set of dice in one of the pocket, but... Platinum dice? No gear. Uh, No platinum Um, dice. Nothing of value. holy symbol of a star, correct? Mm-hmm. Is there like a room key on him? There is. That's a great question. He would have keys to the. He would have a set of keys with one, two, three. No, one, one, two, three, four, five keys on him. Five keys. Okay. I take his keys. Um, I take his holy symbol. Mm-hmm. Right in that dial. Excellent. Um, Jamuba cleric keys. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do uh, I would like to find this guy's room, but I'm going to loot the knight first. Does he have any money on him or anything? Knight is the same way. Recently dressed, has battle gear, but no wealth, no, no trinkets of normal daily life. Nothing other than his gear. Nothing about his gear looks particularly fancy. It's all well made. What's his, you know? uh, is it plate mail? He's got a breastplate on with a shield and um, a melee weapon. Yeah, the breastplate's worth having. Bre- breastplate, breastplate is heavy and expensive. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I leave him here for now. Uh, once I've tied up these two guys, I will, just before heading up the stairs, I'm going to come over here and take a look at these two. What are they What are they doing? Like, like, move any weapons away from them, make sure that they're separated from each other. They can't use their teeth to help each other. Uh, well, they're tied up with the same length of rope, so they got to be fairly close to each other, right? Maybe 20 feet to tie up each person, another 10 feet for the hand, so 30, 30. You've got, I guess, 40 feet of space that you could put between them if you wanted. Yeah, never mind. I take it all back. You can put them... Grant, tell me where you want them on the map, and I'll put well, them Well, I just there. want them not next to each other, you know? Okay. Like, one in that corner and one in this corner should be fine. All right, so something like this. Yeah. 
and then you kick all the weapons yeah. to the other side of the room. Good, I was you guys about really... to have them grab them. Should have just opened the door when we asked nicely. I say to them, don't try anything funny. I'll be right back. Um, this door here, can I lock the door with one of the keys? Yeah, you can fuss around with the keys looking for the right one and lock it. Chink. I jingle it at the guards and give them a wink. And then whistling a haughty tune, we'll head up the stairs to find the rest of the party. All right. We're going to head back to the rest of the party that is ascending the staircase now. Um, you will head... Let's just drag three of you. Oh, no. Uh, three of you will head over to this next room. More barracks. You'll head up another set of stairs that has uh, like a fireplace in the middle of the one of the hallways. And it's when you're coming up this next set of stairs, Archie, that you're going to run into. Um, more soldiers. Oh. Um, this time, the situation you're running into is a pair of guards. They've dropped their bows. They don't need them right now. And they are facing you like that. Uh, so if you come up the stairs, there's two of them ready in a, a shield wall style defense, and it'll take two opportunity attacks to climb the stairs. And here's Sail coming behind you. And Nilrum, just like you're on the it. floor below, but you can kind of see up to what's going on. They, they probably know that one of them was standing with their spear readied at the stairs on the floor below, right? And they heard mm -hmm. him get immediately rushed down uh -huh. by this like creature that's yeah. currently invading our fortress. <laughs> Can we they, get like a morale check or something for this? They've seen the wounded guy come up the stairs shouting, they're in the building. And then, you know, the sound of clatter down below. And then they like, oh, oh, of a person two steps down, like echoing through the shaking in their boots. Like, this is that like means they've gotten movie. past the night. You've gotten past the night. You've gotten past their cleric. You've opened the doors. Yep. This is a horror movie. Um, ew, it is not a great morale check. They are quivering in their boots. They are afraid. Uh, what is the effect of a fear spell on combat? I think it's like minus one to hit and damage. I'm going to give a minus one to hit and damage for <laughs> the shakingness in their spots. They're scared. They're very scared. You can see them trembling. Still holding the ground because they're well-trained heavy guards of a stair, god of order, but... Uh, I'm going to tell um, Archie to wait a second, and I'm going to put my hand on him, if he'll wait. Yep. He'll and I'm going to cast Enlarge. Don't, don't come any closer now. Don't do it. Archie is now 50% uh, larger. We have the, the high ground. Oh, my God. Ah. Uh, I would like to cast Light on Archie so that he looks like a radiant, like, giant. <laughs> <laughs> the giant man who glows and it illuminates light. Uh, second morale check comes um, and they, they just bolt up the stairs. They just turn and run. They, you can come on into this part of the building without any trouble. Um, Whew. All right, we follow them, right? This is how you own an island, right? Can you just take the keep? Yeah, true. This is ours now. Oh, can I look out one of the windows back towards town? Are there people coming? Uh, it is dark in town. You can see the lights of the people who have come out of their homes and are upset about the murders that have happened. And you can see those people walking around a, a section of town sort of milling in the area where Nilrum had cast the fake uh, cloud kill. Um, and you know, people are coming out to, to inspect what's going on. You <laughs> see the plants are not completely withered away. There's some... You know, movement, but no one seems to be organizing any sort of um, military response. There's not a giant mob of torches and pitchforks coming. There are not a giant mob. No, no way. All right, then uh, if Archie keeps going up, I follow him. <clears throat> All right, yep, uh, he does. Yeah, I just need to set some token HPs. It was like they wouldn't make it up here. Why do I need to do those tokens? 
Well, I didn't think that you would be able to throw open the gate so easily. I, I thought there might be a whole siege situation. It was. <laughs> Have you learned nothing from previous encounters? <laughs> I've learned nothing. Nothing at all. All right. You come up to the next chamber. Uh, more rooms. The next chamber. You actually can't get into these rooms. Those are all locked doors, but we don't, we don't really care right now. And finally, Archie, looking up this last staircase, you can see the night sky above. Really? Further above is the outside, the, roof, the huh? very rooftop. Okay. And you go. Um, John, do you want to tell them to throw down their weapons so they don't get hurt? Hmm. You can wait for the captain to arrive. Captain, here's yeah. some stair. Here's some rooms for you to observe. So you can see oh. the glory. Thank of all you. Oh, ah, my dad's mom. An empty room. Another empty. Room. Nice fireplace there. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah spent a lot of time making this map. I really want you to appreciate it, especially because you're going through it <laughs> so fucking in. quickly. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Everyone ah. together. Do you get them all? They're all on the roof, Captain. Oh, there's more of them. Holy shit, Archie. Fucking swole. Thank you. Um, you should see all right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we waiting for? I poke my head around into the corridor. Can I see the two guys at the top of the stairs? Uh, no. Looking up that staircase, it just looks up into open sky and some, what are they called, crenulations, the parapet parts of the fortress. All right, you yally bellied landlubbers. Me and me crews, we're coming upstairs now. If your weapons are on the floor, you might yet live. If not, prepare to have your skull smashed. And I give uh, Archie the nod. Uh, could I carry with water Archie right before he goes up? Sure, I'll do that. <clears throat> okay. What does that do? Uh, it gives a chance for ranged attacks to bounce back to the attacker. Nice. And plus one AC. Right. Someone being a little metagamey, okay. Leave less has worn off on you. It only goes for six rounds. So you are chaos warded. Well. Okay. And up you come, Archie, to the rooftop, and it's a damn good thing you've got Chaos War, because as you poke your head up to the very top of the roof, there is a good line of soldiers, bowmen with arrows notched and drawn, and as you come up on out, they will Shit. all fire. Can I use uh, my free block on projectiles? No. Oh, come on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when, he, when he levels up there, no, you yeah, should Yeah, eventually. Up. We'll find yeah. a way to get you the, like, catching the arrows... <laughs> Um, Catch them and throw them at us. Yeah. I think that's like a... Actually, that is a level of unarmed specialization, probably. So here we go, did Archie. They actually, did they leave their bows behind, or did they just, like, sling them over their shoulder? Uh, some of them never dropped their bows. The two that fought with spears left their bows behind and are now just um, spearmen up here. Okay, so that's how I knew they had bows, okay? It wasn't that a game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six attacks at you. Last one has plus two for back attack. Uh, but what does Chaos Ward do? Tell us. Uh, sure. Ne I don't think I've actually cast this and then had someone ranged attack us. Um, but it gives Archie plus one to AC. Uh, it's even more effective against ranged attacks aimed directly at the Chaos Ward target. So it's actually plus two AC plus against two that. AC. This is the perfect spell at this moment. In addition, there's a chance any missiles, attacks, or directed spells may be deflected. Shown below. Let me go get the, the table. What book is it? Spells and magic. Let's see. 85% uh, chance of no unusual effects. Subject games, normal benefits of chaos uh, ward. 86 to 95 spell or attack automatically defeated. In 96 to 99 spell or attack ricochets affecting a random creature within 30 feet. Normal attack roll or saving throw needs to be rolled for the random creature to be affected. And 100% is spell or attack reflected back at the originator. Normal attack rolls and saving throws apply. And you add the caster's level to the team. All right, so 
Um, Sale, will you roll me 6d100, please? Um, and you are level five? Sale is level yes. five. Yeah. Five. Uh, yeah. Is there a way to like sequentially roll plus fives, or will I just roll six and we'll just add five? We'll just roll and we'll add, yeah. So what happens? He just wants a five or lower? Uh, he wants the highest that he can get on these D100s, oh. but none of them are going to come into effect here. So none of them ricochet back, but the plus two to AC will be clutch, because that brings his AC to 20. So that means all of these attacks, even with flanking bonuses or back attack bonuses, are all going to fail and miss Archie as they swerve in the air around him. Um, Archie gets to the top. The bows go off. The knight gives his, his cry. And immediately, the three foremost guardsmen step forward with their readied attacks, as was the plan, and will try to strike at you, Archie. I'll just free block the first one. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. First Fuck. one is definitely a miss. Oh. The second Shit. one, though, will pierce. Uh, you will not crit, though. It doesn't clear by... Well, he does have one for flank as you're coming up and over. Now you're probably turned by then. I don't think you get a flank. They get a flank on you. Is that, it's you, 19 AC anyway, because of the cast wood. Yeah, and they've got to wait for the arrows to fly. So by then, you definitely could have faced them. So just a regular hit from the one guardian for two points of damage. <laughs> he has four left on his armor, by the way. Points. Uh, Sail, you're kind of coming up behind him. Then no and room. Let's roll initiative. Can no room come up too or no? Uh, no. I mean, I'm here. Why don't you just see anyway, just for funsies? So, I well, I, I just want to know if I can. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much can I see, like in character here? Nothing. Because... Okay. Nothing. That's kind of why I was going to leave you guys behind, but it's more fun to see what's going on. You could only see up and out here. So you can see like the arrows whizzing patch Archie. You can see the spear thrust coming over him, um, but you can't see any of the peeps. I can't believe everyone on this fucking map attacked Archie and he took two damage. No. <laughs> he's, he's a monster. He's uh, just built different. All right. He's built different for sure. Initiatives. I'm going to call it to Archie. Archie, what do you see? Um... So sorry. What 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 do you see? Basically, is what I'm asking. Oh yeah yeah. Um, Man. I see five shields, five bows, and a knight. <laughs> I don't know if we could take that, but I think they're stranded up there. <laughs> it's true. Good choice. We must kill them. Normal yell out. Lay down your arms, or a magical uh, half giant friend here will kill you. Everyone else has died. Dude. This is your only option and your only chance. Your voice no, comes from below. They hear. Um, guardian. Archie guardians. goes first. Archie, once again, you are first. You've thrown off the ready to action. I'll, I'll just cast. attack the, the guy who's closest to me, the guy who's damaged. Yeah. Giant Archie Six throws damage. his fist well, around. Plus. Plus one, but it kills him Plus anyway. One. Yeah, he immediately and drops to the ground as his head caves in. Guy next to him. Smash. Five uh, damage. For six. Six, yeah. Six, yeah. Captain Winters, you're you're still down here with Nilrum at the back of the party. There's really no room to go up because sails after them. Uh, yeah, doing? is there any, uh, these windows, are any of them big enough to climb out of? None of them are big enough to climb out of. No way. Yeah. Was there any windows that were big enough to climb out of as mm -hmm. I was, uh... Nope. It is fortress-style windows. Cannot be entered or exited. Yeah, so... Fuck. I'll call back. Archie, come down. We have all of the food down here. They'll literally starve. Yeah, and I'll shout out. Can't I just go outside and lightning the top? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, true. You just keep them up there. All right. So, Captain John Winters, you're not doing anything? You're just ch chilling? Yeah, I mean, I'll delay and see what I think. If a space clears up, I might go up, but otherwise, I'm. Are we just. So wait. Oh, wait, sir. 
So, so am I just like rolling back down the stairs and then just like kind of guarding the stairs so nobody can go down? Yeah. Uh, maybe do after they get their attack rolls in, yeah, yeah. the six okay. archers shoot at you again. Shooting into melee. Um, By the way, I mean, there is. I usually we wouldn't do it, but yeah. there is like so many guys there. There are a lot of guys. Archie is quite a bit bigger. This guy's got a pretty good angle. Um, the rest of them, hmm, not so much. Hmm. All right, we'll give this one guy who actually has a, a semi clear shot an attack roll and see how it goes. That will do it. He's got another one for flank. So that guy will actually land a shot on Arch. Wait, no, hold on. Uh, roll me the D100 sail. Let's go. Plus five. One high. Okay. All right, so the damage will land on Archie for three. The other five are all still taking shots. Um, but there is a, a good chance that they might shoot their allies. So um, I'm going to say natural one through fives are attacks on their allies. Here we go. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, one of them will target an ally with a new attack roll. Two, two will? Oh, sorry, uh, one will. One will, yeah. Nah, it'll miss his back. The other ones, Archie, what's your AC? Is it greater than 18? It is. It's 19. 20 right now. Yep. It's 20. 19. 19. Was right. it 20? Oh, it's right. Plus two against range attacks here. Yeah, Jesus Christ. 20, okay. That's so then so it's good. not a crit. It's just another arrow will pierce you for four. <laughs> so you've taken six. He no this longer round. has armor. D uh, does he have chaos ward still? Will I roll those? Yes. Please roll all of those. <laughs> Uh, 97! 93! Hmm? Those both have 75. Plus 5? Plus five? So yeah. the 4 from the 5th for attack. The 74 doesn't do anything. The 79 doesn't do anything. The 93 becomes a 98, which is spell or attack ricochets automatically affecting a creature within 30 feet. Um, roll for a random creature to be affected, which is... I will it say everyone on hit this me. map, yeah. Somehow so. it's going to fucking come down the stairs Five, and hit me, isn't it? Eight, nine, <laughs> yes. 11, 12. It's like an, an archer when the one guy always gets shot <laughs> yeah, no matter yeah. what. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sale, roll me a d12 and do not roll a 12. A 12 is you. Oh, my oh, God. No. Yeah. What? Oh, I love it. Um, and the same oh thing God, for... Archie no, the, the one that was a 97 will target its own archer. So here's the, the archer attack against you, Sale. Oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, 13? I don't think it's enough. No. no. Not with the uh, armor. Okay. Woo. Um, did I tell... Did I still take 26 damage this... Uh, sorry, did I still take 6 damage this turn? Let's see, it's the... Four. Oh, yeah, 6. Yeah. Last two attacks that would have missed you. So 1, 2, 3. You do not take the 4. You just okay. take the two. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Uh, that was their turn. Sail, it's your turn. An arrow misses Archie, swerves, and comes down towards you. You dodge. It lands at your uh, arm's feet. I will shout out fall back, Archie, and then I will... Uh, seeing like a barrage of arrows come at Archie, I will kind of fall back. on <laughs> Come on back down. The soldiers are gonna go. Oh, you're in this corner. See, they had another plan, but you're you're they're gonna just try and throw you over the edge. The knight encourages them to do it anyway. You know, it's it's high risk, high reward. You can toss the man off the hundred foot tower and he's just dead. So that's what they're gonna do. Um, this guy and this guy are gonna come together. The first one. Use it. He's a heavy guard. He's a well-trained elite soldier <clears throat> for the, the White Prince, and he's going to lower himself with his shield and try to bash under your center of gravity, which now you're really tall is much easier. And this other guy is going to come up behind him, and together with their pressure, they're going to try and throw you over the ledge. Now, first, we need a successful attack roll just against your natural AC um, to shield, to contact you with the shield. Uh, really trying and that's to not going to work. Oh, did happen. we roll for the ricochet arrow back at the archer? Oh, we did not. Good call. The archer does not hit himself. 
They try to get the shield to position under you, but you're a master brawler. You can you see what they're doing, and you can position yourself so that the your center of mass is never in the right spot, and they can't quite get the the leverage, and you can pound on their shields and keep them at bay. Uh, which will leave these last two guys over here, who are just going to use the the length and reach of their spears to stab over and make regular melee attacks against you, with a eleven and a. 15 might land because you don't have your magic armor anymore. But he has plus one from Chaos Ward. I don't know what his AC is. Does Chaos Ward give melee attack? It's one melee, two range, I think. Okay, yep. then his AC is 15, so it is a hit. Um, the spear will land. For d6 damage, six points of damage. Yes. Wait, hang on. Shouldn't he still have armor if he didn't take that full damage? Ooh. Boon? True. How how much was the armor over um, killed I by? I think Milram said there was four armor left. And then he took, and then he took six, but then he actually two only took four, two. Two gave four back. So, so I think I it's... took two, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, so there's two points yeah, left on the armor. Yeah, because I took off the four. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. Damn it. Oh, I almost so got him. So this spear does not hit me. It does not hit yeah. you. You don't take that six damage. How much health are you on? I can't even see. I'm on 24. Oh. 35. He's got so, so much. Not even close. <laughs> Seven of yeah. that was done by Nilrim. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um, and then Archie, near the end of the round. I will. No, you can't move without uh, taking attacks of opportunity. The other archers mm. aren't going to try and make the second shots, but this guy who's got the one clear line on you will take a second shot. Um, Sale, please roll me uh, Chaos Warden. D100 plus five. Nope. All right, it'll affect normally. And 14, even with one for flanking, is a 15 is a miss. And we can go to the next round of initiative. The plan is Sale. How do I roll initiative? Archie is just holding the door, right? How do I roll initiative to move? Just a D uh, plus three at plus three. Um, sorry, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Uh, do you see in the upper left hand corner a button that says initiative hyphen three um, when you click on your token of not on your character sheet oh yeah yeah, yeah. I remember now I'm sorry yeah. that's all good uh yes so that's initiative three is moving yeah yeah it's moving okay. Excellent. So you will indeed beat all of them, and you can withdraw down the staircase. Yes. Um, and what, you're just going to hold the top of the stairs? I, I want to attempt doing, like, a sick dodge roll. Can I do that? Yeah, give me a dex check. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> he falls down the stairs. You throw sale. yourself <laughs> down the stairs. <laughs> Give me a saving throw versus death not to take d6 falling mm. damage as you tumble down the stairs. That's fair. This is how the armor spell lies, by the way. <laughs> saving throw versus death? Oh, sorry. Yes. Do it. Um, fuck, I'm so sorry. How did I do that? On your uh, character combat sheet. Combat tab, saving throws. First one. Uh, it's a success. Right, you don't break anything. It's just embarrassing. Uh, you come down the stairs and you can hear like a hurrah coming from the people up top, followed by a shout from their leader knight to like, get yourself into shape. Now's not the time to celebrate. Um, and the soldiers will not pursue you down, leaving the party on the eighth floor, all the guards and soldiers on the ninth floor. Sail. Getting ready for his ultimate spell. And the um, rest of us going to We have break. to go outside to do that sale. Oh, okay. Break time. Yeah. Well, we'll see you guys on the other I side can't. of a break with some more Tides of Death. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tides of Death. Our party has retreated off the top deck for now, but there is a plan in motion. Plan to be executed by sale. What is it? Um, so I am going to attempt to start casting Call Lightning. 
Um, well, before I do that, I'm going to hand uh, John a tub of, or, or Archie or John, whoever wants to take it, a uh, healing salve that I have on me. In case oh, I've got my, I've got my own. I'm all right. Yeah, as far as you need to, I'll hand it to him. Um, and I'll explain my plan. Basically, all right, listen up, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to, I'm speaking quickly. Uh, I'm going to try to cast lightning and kill them off from the top. Um... Now, my question is to the DM is, can I do that from inside the tower? You need says... to be outside. Okay, well, that archers are a problem. Then. Uh, oh, lightning spell. There must be a storm in the area. There's always a storm overhead. Not a problem. Caster is then able to call down lightning bolts, one per every 10 minutes. You don't need to call one immediately. Other actions, even spell casting, can be performed, but you must remain stationary and concentrate for a full minute every time you call down a bolt of lightning. Then it has all this fancy damage. Um, any creature within 10 feet of the radius of the path or the point where it strikes suffers full damage unless they save. Yeah. Oh, um, it can only be used outdoors. It does not function underground or underwater. Right, because it does call lightning from the roof, to, uh, from the sky down to the ground. But I think you need some sort of visual. Um, now, that said, can I like channel in, in the building and just walk out? And... Yeah. If you're right here and you can see up the staircase, you could target like this spot right here and it would hit everything within 10 feet of that spot but if you want to target like the very center of the tower i think you'd need to be like on the ground and a little bit of a way so you can actually have a good view of the tower so then you can call it down on top of it you might have to head off the hill and into town to get a clear view to strike the the roof of the tower what's the range on your spell maybe you could like gow of archer range you know in the woods or something Oh, for sure. I, def I think I could definitely do that. Um, depending on how, like, if the it, theoretically, I could just cast it at like at the center of the tower on the bottom floor, like just like outside, just be outside the door, cast and like the bolt. Assuming it comes straight from the clouds to the tower, it would just hit everything on top and not go any further. That's assuming that the bolt comes directly down from the sky, but it's unlikely. You know, bolts of lightning rarely travel directly vertically. Mm. They often come in at strange angles and, like, Chris, twist and turn. But I like your clever use of the flaring. That's true. Um... Uh, I guess I'm going to talk to the group and say, like, okay, uh, where do I cast it? Do I cast it here? Do I go outside? I'll escort you down, sail. Find somewhere safe. I'll guard the door. We can handle okay. up here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll go down. So me and sail will go down. Down and down you go. All the way back. Room. At the very bottom. The two guards there are still tied up. The weapons are still on the other side of the room. They have not tried any funny business while you've been gone. What's, uh, I just open this door and poke my head in. Ah, uh, it's a bunch of storage back here. There's crates and boxes and barrels and sacks of stuff. There's some chests. There's like, this looks like the, the primary storage room for the, the keep. Fantastic. Good. All right. I'll turn to the captain and say, could we just set fire to the tower and everyone on top dies? I don't know if this place will burn, it's stone. Yeah, you put enough material on the second last floor. Perhaps, but what's the point of your spell if you, uh, we're just going to set a fire? You'll be alright. I suppose. Uh, I'll open the door. Um, Using the key that um, the captain I... has, you guys can open the door and undo the bar and head on out, leaving the doors open or shut and locked behind you, whichever you want. Captain? Um, well, I open the door and have a look. Does it look... Can I spot a good place for him to do it from? Like, is there a tree cover or something a couple of hundred yards away? Not really. Um, it's sort of town in all directions. Oh, okay, but there's like houses he could hide behind so the archers wouldn't be able to shoot them from the sure. roof. Sure, it's quite difficult to actually see any of the things out here. Um, 
if the archers were looking off the side of the tower in the darkness, they would have a really hard time spotting you down there. Yeah. Uh, at the very least, they'd have like minus three to any attack rolls to begin with. Um, that, and that's if they can even find you. So as long as you can make sure that you uh, have like lost line of sight, you should be able to get some cover behind a building and remain unseen. Well, I'll, I'll say, um, Sale, you want me to come with you or should I guard the door? Um, I think you would need. I think I would need someone to keep people away from me because it takes a long time mm -hmm. to right. cast the spell. I will. Uh, I cast the bar for the door off to the side, and uh, will close the door behind me and lock it. It locks behind you. And then, uh, all right, let's go. Yep. I will apply the healing salve once we stop moving as well, Neil. Okay. How fast does it work? One per minute. Okay, so I'm putting all nine on. So by the time his spell's finished, I'll be uh, on 16. But... Yeah. Back over here, the tower. Nilrum and Archie. Uh, where on this staircase are you, Archie? Because the spot that I have you here is equivalent to like being out in the open. So maybe here, here. You want to be at the base of the staircase? Where's your positioning? You want to be... Nilrum will probably ask Archie and place him somewhere. Um, I... You want to be at a spot where they can't just easily like look down with bows and arrows and take pot shots mm. yeah so, so like probably, yeah. wherever the the top ceiling before the staircase like ends does that make sense yeah and i see what you want that angle building. yeah and archie could be like here like peeking out yeah. yeah oh that's really good actually yeah i like that well cool. so you guys are both cornered looking out if they can't really get a good angle on you if they want to shoot with bows, but if they come down the stairs, you'll be able to yeah. immediately intercept. Normal to also tell Archie, since we're going to have a little bit, um, we want to move some of this furniture in front of the staircase so they can't just, like, rush down. Does that make sense? Uh, these doors are normally locked, but at this moment, they happen to be unlocked since everyone was getting ready in a hurry. Uh, you can go into these rooms. This looks like the the room for whoever's running the area, and this looks like a parlor set up for officers or nobles or people of importance. Um, there's documents, there's some food, there's fireplace, there's a couple of books, there's a weapon rack with some swords and armor on them. Fuck that. We grab the desk and we start barricading the front of this. You start barricading the walkway. Not a problem. Coming down from upstairs after a few minutes is a deep voice. <clears throat> you down there, it's not too late to lay down arms and turn yourself in. I know you're not talking to us. You're probably talking to your men, right? A stair of the great and mighty God. He will grant mercy on those who fall in line. Fuck a stare. If you care about him, pray to him. Maybe he'll smite me down right now where I stand. He's not mighty enough. Oh. By the gods. We'll have your head. We'll hang you for piracy. It'll be a long, um, slow, torturous death. I'll say the name of the accountant that we have. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say so and so. Uh, prayed to a stare. <laughs> Sharpay. And he didn't uh, answer, yeah. When we had Sharpay and his entire ship of uh, your men, he prayed, they all prayed to a stare. He didn't answer. He'll do the same here. Heretics! A lot of you, this is why your kind should be purged. Then come do it. Oof. Well, you do see the night make an appearance at the top of the staircase. Uh, he saunters down a few steps. Hi, magic missile. Uh, all right. Yep. Open up with the magic missile. 13. Great damage. It rips into him, and he immediately falls back up the staircase. Heresy! Traitors! Unregistered Normal. wizards. This is... Do a maniacal he... laugh gives a speech to his soldiers about the whole purpose of registering wizards and see what this sort of power can ha do when it falls into the hands of the unworthy of the of the those who do not believe in order who who do not believe in a civil society 
these troublemakers. Greedy. Greedy monsters, he calls you. Uh, but that's pretty much it. They don't come uh, try and pop back down again. We're holding it out for up here for a while. They will. So when the lightning starts. Getting back to the rest <laughs> of the party. Move into town. We're going to keep barricading, by the way. Mm -hmm. Keep piling stuff up? Yeah. Yep. You can get into town. Yeah, well, we take see... a quiet route. So we want to avoid the mob. Mm -hmm. There are enough lights in the tower that you can easily see the tower silhouetted nighttime and there are lanterns up on the top of the tower making it sort of like a beacon in the night uh, a sign of civilization beacon of light in an otherwise darkened scary world let's see if you run into anyone in town no the town has rolled a one on their courage to see what's happening and it is empty and deserted in the streets Describe to me the position the two of you take. We're probably looking for somewhat on the edge of town because we're just casting the spell now and then we'll find like a firing position later. Oh, okay. So we're just looking for somewhere secluded that I can have stand still for 10 minutes and actually mm -hmm. prepare the spell. Yeah. Um, so somewhere on the edge of town, maybe where there's less people, maybe a lot of the people at the edge of town have moved towards the center. Mm -hmm. So we're like on the outskirts. I, that's where I would be going you find a section of town yeah. that's got a mix of trees and buildings and looks a little bit less densely habitated you don't see any lights on in any of the buildings here but you find a spot with a clear view to the tower well within range of your spell and begin the chanting and the churning it's a 10 minute casting time for call lightning is there anything special about the the long spell casting time that you want to call out for us sale uh, I think, like, water droplets start forming in the air around me and stuff like that. As, like, almost like anti-gravity as they're, like, electrocuting up or whatever, or... Mm -hmm. What's the word? Magnetically being lifted? Yeah, sort of shimmering, lifting water. And the, the, obviously pools. the clouds will start, like, swirling more aggressively, mm -hmm. like lightning swarming. Mm -hmm. You can see little ripples in the distance illuminating the cloud cover overhead as low, gentle rolls of thunder come in from far, far away. And when it's finally done, you can call your first bolt of lightning right down onto the tower. Um, yep. Is there a particular spot you want to target? You want to do the very center, top side, the bottom side, a corner? What do you want? Uh, I think I would just go for max damage and go like middle of the tower. I don't middle think we're looking tower. for survivors center of the top floor yeah so that is i gotta remember the it's gonna be here. 2d8 plus 1d8 per level 78 i think that is correct roll it 28 That's damage to all who fail their save uh, so anyone with less than 14 hp immediately dies 20 minutes after they leave your position, you hear and feel the bolt of lightning, uh, Nilrum and Archie, as it smashes into the ceiling above you, into the floor above you. Uh, and it, Archie's face the... will light up because he thinks, still thinks this is so fucking cool. Yeah, Nilrum will scream out, um, ah, oh, stairs smiting the heretics. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> The noise of the lightning crash is deafening. And when it begins to fade, when your ears stop ringing from the blast, you can hear the moaning and groaning of the dead and the dying as... Well, these guys all pass pretty well. Um, as the lightning bolt has just, like, obliterated the top of the, the keep. Little bits of dust and cracked rock fall down into your area below. Holy um, shit, these guys got vaporized. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. They're about to get another one. And you can call lightning bolts every measure? 10 minutes. So how many would you like to call down? Uh, whew, did we, we didn't discuss a signal. I guess I'll fire off two. Is two enough? 
<laughs> I feel like two is enough. You got a lot of lightning bolts, right? You get five lightning bolts total? Yeah, five, yeah. I want to save a couple in the tank. Okay, all right. Drop me another one. That's a little lot worse. Another lightning bolt comes crashing. Well, wait, almost. The first one has come down and there's a pause. There's 10 minutes between bolts. We know that Archie, uh, not Archie, we know that Sail is casting another. But after the first bolt comes down and a few minutes pass, uh, one soldier starts making their way down the staircase. Not standing. Absolutely. This person, good. like, spears to the side, shield is dropped on his belly. Like, you see the hand over the top of the staircase <laughs> as he pulls himself and then begins to, like, sort of slide down the stairs, crawling for the safety of indoors. Um, there's a large barricade built up right here. What do you, the two of you do? Miller, you're 18 and. Uh, we just wait for the next two lightning bolts. The ceiling is like cracking and shit. He crawls partway down and gets to the barricade and can't go any further. This is still exposed to the sky, but at least there's some walls on either side of him to protect him from what might be above. A voice calls out from above. Ugh. I'll, I'll ask him. How many are left up there? If you tell me correctly, I'll let you live. I don't know. Everyone's down. I don't. I don't know. And another voice from above calls, oh, Who are you people? Which god do you serve? Who must I curse on my way to hell? Curse the crimson fist, scum. Normal laugh. <laughs> After this, I'm thinking of serving Ponos. I've been, uh, been quite a fan of his since I was a young age. I didn't know why, but this brings me, brings me much joy. And Nero will walk over to the barricade. Is the guy uh, still it's laying like there? like stopped on the other side of the barricade with desks and tables and chairs piled up. There's like small Can I reach spots. through? You could reach through and touch him if you wanted. I reach through with a dagger and stab him. <laughs> Roll the hit. Okay, this is the bard's dagger. Uh -huh. this is the dagger you... I stole from the bard that I murdered. Plus four because the guy's prone and not really defending himself. A 16, 16. will do it. You can reach through the other side, gouge him in the neck, uh, and his slow movements and gentle grunting will stop as blood pools on the staircase. And then a moment later, another lightning bolt crashes down on the top. By the time the your ears stop ringing, you don't hear anything from up there. You're all covered in a fine layer of dust and concrete. Nilram knows that uh, it takes about 10 minutes. <clears throat> we think we would have discussed this. Mm -hmm. So he'll tell Archie to start moving the barricades, and um, Nilram will be counting because it's very important time. Uh, so Nilram starts counting the seconds. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm best at. Yeah. You'll have the timing down just fine. On the other so side, we're gonna go, uh, check it out. Yeah. Of town, you've called down so. two lightning bolts on the castle. I think I'm sat there, mouth agape, watching the uh, destruction of the tower. And I say, after the second ball, I say, all right, sail, surely. They're all dead after that. We should go back in just in case any of them went back down to fight. We should, but we shouldn't waste the call lightning. <laughs> it should. It's in the harbor, true. <laughs> Why don't we <laughs> let the town know who's in charge? What are you proposing? Property destruction. We don't have to kill people. I mean, there's boats in the harbor, uh, people's houses. For, say, uh, you know, give us prisoners or we'll just hold up in the tower and continuously lightning bolt the entire town until it's a crater. Not one for a tell a man how to have his fun. Blow that ship up if you like. Be remiss to kill any children. I blame yeah. the house. I, I, I'm just saying we could use this show of force to intimidate the town into working with us when Father Hubert gets here. 
How long can you hold on to those things? Another half hour. I think I can... I think I lose one every 10 minutes or something. I don't know exactly. That's right. Where you want to go now? What do you have in mind? Uh, it's up to you. Do you think we should go back now? Or should we go hit a boat? Or should we... Well, I struggle to see how many peasants are going to help us fight Hubert and his goons, but if it, uh, if it pleases you to assert your authority over these uh, simple-minded fools, then who am I to stand in your way? Well, we could, we could do it tomorrow. Like, we're going to be here a while. We got a yeah. tower now, Captain. We got a, we got a castle on a hill. Exactly. I mean, it'd be stupid to kill all of our peasants as newly uh, endowed lords. <laughs> I like bow before the captain and say, <laughs> my lord. <laughs> Someone has to pay taxes, don't you know? Let's, uh, I saw some chests back in there. I'm going to go check that out. I've held my fingers long enough. But if, uh, if you want to go and blow something up, just try not to kill any kids. Or you can come uh, with me. Oh, would I be able to... I wouldn't be able to reach the harbor from the top of the tower, would I? What is the max range of your spell? 360, 360 yards. Yard. Um, the... Not quite It would make... Enough, no. I was going to say, it would make sense to have the tower within range for an Astaire Cleric in case there are people coming on ship to, like, take over mm. the town. Look at the map of. It seems like because the stair clerics are one of the only people with access to that spell. Right. So the tower was built not at the very front of the town. It was built on land um, specifically to defend the town against the the goblins on the other side that were coming in. But range to the harbor would be nice as well. Sometimes, though, you can't get an ideal situation. Let's roll for it and see if it's within range of the harbor. Um, I need a... Yes, it is well within the range of the harbor. You're gazing at it. It looks like a ship, not even like at the docks, but still a little bit in the water would be well within range of this. You should be able to hit any ships coming in. Yeah, okay. So we can... Yeah, that's fine. Um something to think about when we get back up there. Mm -hmm. something 300 to think yards about. from the harbor. Or the dock. So uh, we will meander back to the tower. Quite the uh, quite the spell, that one. Rivals even Nilrum's lightning. <laughs> Rivals? It outstrips him. What the fuck? Um... <laughs> <laughs> what does he do? Unlock doors? Ooh, wizard! <laughs> Archie's just like giddy with excitement and he's like lifting lifting um sail up to the air and he's like um he probably picked this up on like a boat where like you you everyone gets in a circle and they like all cheer for someone oh wait we have to um we have to clear the top first yes. before yeah before you do that as the the two of you well i want to leave the top. shit on the ground floor to be fair well no no, no, no i know but we're going, going to the top in. up yeah. here no i know you two can't i'm saying that i'm not that oh right sorry you were talking about that my, my mistake. The bodies here are just in disarray everywhere everyone is dead seemingly um, the corpses are charred in some situations beyond recognition this person in particular has had two direct blows to them and is more like chunks of viscera scattered over the top of the tower the whole thing is blackened by the lightning bolt. You can see cracks running through the ground, um, weapons, gear, body parts strewn about. This is the most is metal there, thing uh, I've ever heard. Is there a uh, is there a bunch of blood everywhere? Oh. No, will uh, take the blood and he'll do like the symbol of Ponos, which looks like the maelstrom. Big twirling spiral. Oh, yes, yeah, he'll do that up top. There's still tied up people downstairs, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Archie wants to drag up one of them and show them what happened. Yeah. You'll s get to them as John and Sale return. You'll be able to drag the prisoners all the way up with you. And Archie. Show them what you need. They all dead? They're all dead. I want to show them so that people know what the Crimson Fist did. All right, these two. Don't kill them, at least not tonight. I said they could live. 
I think they should live so they can tell our story. Indeed. They can, uh, they can they help us. open the door. They, they yeah. should have just opened the door. Yeah. They can help us lay a trap for Hubert. Isn't that right, lads? Yeah, Nora will point out to the dock and he'll explain that it's actually in range. So the best thing we should do, just like the welcome we had, we should have the dock, the one guy out there in his full armor, just standing there like everything's normal. And when the ship gets within a decent amount of range, we should cast Call Lightning on. Blow his ship the fuck up, yeah. Now the thing is, will he, will Father Hubert recognize the casting? Because he would be maybe familiar with some of the no, combat spells. Shrug. You can't move a ship that quickly, probably. Yeah, if the ship's anchored, if we start once the ship anchors, by the time he notices, it might be too late. True. And then we could just blow up the ship, and he can't leave, and then we hunt him down. Easy. Yeah. I like it. And our e. ship, no room will hold the bottle. Is right here. Alternatively, we could have uh, Nilrum set up behind the doors to the keep, have these two chaps, you know, lead Hubert and his buddies, open the door, and you can just blast them as soon as the door opens. And on. But anyway, um, first things first. I'm going to check this loot. Archie, do what you want with these prisoners, but don't kill them. Yeah, I'll drag one of them up the stairs, show them what happened uh, on the roof. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I'll point to, like, one of the, like, completely destroyed bodies and I'll ask the guy that I'm holding you know that guy Bob's his head up and down what was his name Ted his name was Ted you guys get friends kneel in the middle nods of the sphere Archie will just nod and drag him back, back down the stairs Norm will do a quick prayer and um say to Ponos that he hopes he enjoys his uh, sacrifice. Oh, as the... Um, I, 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 I assume I'm in the roof as well, or right nearby? Mm -hmm. You can, man. It's fine. I will uh, look upon the destruction and whisper Rohi's name, assuming these two guys aren't on the roof as well. Yeah, I think they've been dragged down by Archie. Yeah. So what's in the uh, chest and the, and the barrels and all the stuff? Uh, well, you search the tower for loot. Down in the very bottom, there's a lot of gear like food, water, extra rope, um, tiles for the rooms, huh. you know, all the things that you need to just sort of like maintain the functioning of a keep. But in the very yeah. back, you do find what is a locked box filled with what appears to be the um, wages for the people who work here not yet distributed uh, and putting this together with the individual chests and the individual rooms up there you could probably get all the wages that all these people would have had and not spent uh, it'll take a while to collect and count all the money though for sure that's fine i'll do that um a couple of people saying the music's maybe a bit too loud now uh anything happened with uh no room stuff. I didn't want to. I just want to make sure that it didn't get skipped over. The blood circle of Ponos, and then kneeling in the middle and saying, "I hope you're happy with your sacrifice." Just checking. Just thinking about that one, and this is around the same time that Sail is up there. And what did you say to to Rohi Sail? Well, did yeah. you just call his attention, or did you have a prayer that went with it? I was gonna ask, is he doing that with? Nilrum up there as well because no one would probably be able to hear the name because I want to get this I don't want to fuck this up yeah <laughs> the two guards went downstairs with Archie yeah. and John's downstairs but Nilrum was drawing the circle the spiral of blood and Sale was do, do you I, I'm just calling his attention that I've murdered like clients of a stair or followers Got of a stair you bring his attention to the area and a ripple of distant lightning will illuminate the land for a moment, followed much later by a gentle roll of thunder. Uh, and this is while Nilrum is making his blood spiral. Is the did you do you Nilrum go down after that, or do you watch Nilrum continue oh, his blood spiral? Uh, I would probably just. Like, have a look around, see if there's, like, a nice sword or something, and then leave. I wouldn't be too interested. 
the scimitar of the night um, was once nice, but it is now twisted beyond recognition by the lightning bolts that have hit it. Yep, yeah, I'll just leave. Okay. So that is Nilrum alone on the rooftops with a bloody spiral. Um, and tell me one more time the words that you summon him with, that you pray to Ponos with. I hope that this is a worthy sacrifice as he kneels down in the middle. And then I guess um, he'll wait a few seconds. You wait a few seconds. Nothing seems to change. He will uh, get up from his knee, give like a wicked smile as he looks around at all of the destruction that he himself caused. He knocked into the door. He shot mm -hmm. the lightning bolt. He feels mm -hmm. very happy with this. And um, he'll leave the blood spiral in a nice way and he'll walk down the stairs. down the stairs if there are any effects of this they're not mm -hmm. seen at this moment in time Nick you're losing yes. the place I am I uh, refresh my rope that I cut up mm -hmm. to uh, tie the guys up as a sure. immediate action yeah ton anything that you need to resupply on you can resupply on rations food water uh, yeah. Lantern oil, torches, bed sheets, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I mean, we kind of need all of this stuff. I think when we leave, we take it all anyway. Mm -hmm. You can pile together um, silver and copper and gold that you can find scattered throughout the keep here. Um, you have all the keys to all the things. And you can come away with 50,000 silver. I'm just going to lump it into silver because some is in gold and some is in copper, but I don't, you know, ma coin management is a bitch. So for simplicity's sake, we're going to call it 50,000 silver. That's a lot of silver now. Yeah. Um, it is scattered. It's, you know, there's a couple of large chests in that bottom room where most of the silver is packed. And then individual soldiers have their own, like, personal supplies of what they have spent, uh, have not spent or what they... Um, have brought in from any other activities they might be doing. Um, so it's scattered all over the place. And it works about a thousand pounds lucrative. together. Yeah, I will put it on the party sheets, but for now, we'll all remember that it's in chests in this mm -hmm. tower. We'll yeah. have to drag it back to the boat. We've almost yeah. got 12,000 gold at this point, which is a lot. Lucrative business. Mm -hmm. Everything's good. Good money. Um, but I think we should sleep in this tower for now, right? It's a good idea. All the dead. Sure. Let's pile up all the dead bodies on the reef. Um, let's like find a room that we can lock to leave these two tied up guys in. Probably separate them, like you know, one in one room, one in another. Um, someone stands watch, and I think we we wait, and in the morning maybe go and speak to the town's folks see if we can't. Did we get a date on when Father Hubert was expected? February fourteenth. How many days away is that? About a month. You got here oh. really early to uh, get the lay of the land and sort of figure out what was going on. <laughs> you really rushed That's this really place. good, though, I think. <laughs> Being here in this tower, we yeah. can rule for a fucking month. True. Oh, think of all the wealth we could gather just yeah. in this tower before he gets here. There's literally a person in the tower who can destroy your entire fucking existence if you yeah. don't give us what we want. Mm -hmm. This is like we're like we're the in the Sauron. perfect spot. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> These poor people are so. Yeah, fun. it's life. Yeah, <laughs> but it, but really is the is the goal here, lads? Are we trying to oppress these folk and wring them dry of their silver, or are we looking to create a bulwark against the White Prince? <laughs> After sure what we did split, down there, I'm pretty sure they kind of line up people that all compliment him for his big cock. That's the only thing he's thinking <laughs> about right now. Captain, I'm going to be honest. After what we did down there, sorry, what I did in the tavern. Um, one kid, Nilrim. People are pragmatic. Kid. It was the... Well, uh, let's not get it twisted we'll here. It was incredibly stupid. 
and I'm starting to question the validity of letting you even in any negotiations at all. I said that I'm going to take myself out. I'm gonna, I'm two. gonna, I'm gonna hold on to Nilrim, friend. Yeah. I'm yeah, gonna excuse well. myself from the next two negotiations. The next time, Nilrim, I'll have Archie take you out because yep. I feel like that's probably the safest option. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. It, well, it does. Now. I will say it does signal a lot of weakness to our political potential allies slash opponents if like half of the group is like, no, he can't be here. He's too. <laughs> There's too much like discord in the group. But um, what if we were to? Hmm. Pay some of the silver back to the townsfolk. Repay their taxes. Get them on board. Ooh, I think that's. I like good. it. Um, yeah. yeah. Are we trying to build an alloy, or are we trying to kill Hubert? Both. Well, we're trying to kill Hubert, obviously. But if we could have them on side when it happens, and once it's over, then um, all the better, right? We could even uh, take a few days here, rest and recover, send the word around town. <laughs> Old court, perhaps. We also Maybe. need to make sure no boats leave. I agree. That's true. Yeah, you, you can do that in did the morning. Have three extra call lightnings. Were you going to strike the boats in the harbor with them tonight, or are you going to leave them for now? I think no one would point that out and say that. Yeah, we want to strike those boats. Well, if we destroy the boats of any fishermen or whatever that live on the island, then we are running into yeah. territory where we're unlikely to be able to get them back on site. Also, if we destroy the boats, then when the whatever yeah. father hubris or whatever comes he'll he's gonna know really. yeah exactly send one lightning bolt into the directly middle town square it'll show that we have the the force we could put it where we want and um people will know that we mean business i'm not convinced these peasants are gonna know the difference between a conjured lightning bolt and one that the gods send uh without their conduit requesting it well, we could send a message to the town tonight. Let them know that no one leaves the island. We can do that. Send someone down to the docks. I think we should, uh, you know, clean up in here. Hold court or something. Maybe in the town hall. Have the villagers come and tell us about their problems. Give them some silver. Yada yada. Play the devil take... and lord. I don't think we take anything from the island. I think any silver that we got in this form, and he'll kick the cash bucket, I guess. Let's give it to the island. Um, I a think lot of silver in that Nelrim. Should we hold like a feast, a party, perhaps? Perhaps. We might need to go out and buy food, though. Yeah. Actually, no. Wait, this place is full of food. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. They won't be needing it. Yeah. I think making the people an ally of us is um, is our best bet right now. And I like that. not being okay. greedy with the silver is the... Fine, but I am remiss about giving up all of it. Maybe we can take a fair finder's fee or something like that. Twenty percent for us. Twenty percent. That's I can live with that. Why don't we, uh, why don't we clean up in here, move any of the dead up to the roof, find some rooms for us, get these two locked down, um, sleep the rest of the night off. It's already late, mm. and uh, in the morning we can work about spreading word to the town. Sounds good. Here we'll nod and say. I'll look out the window stairs. and say, it is morning, Captain. <laughs> and no one will go, and he'll go up to the roof. Alone, probably. But yeah. Um, just a couple of a quick logistical things. These three rooms here, uh, they're not decorated, but these are three bedrooms, and all of them have locking doors, as well as uh, this this room over here locks as well. Those are the, the, only, the only four doors that lock inside, except for that, that very bottom floor where you've got the um, storage. Yeah, okay, well, I think they didn't we have, like, a taxes them. room or anything? No taxes that they're taking from the village? Uh, that was stored in this back room with uh, the treasure, and it was in a locked box that needed a special key. Actually, they don't they don't collect... Well, never mind, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Wait, so did we open that one or not? Or is, that, is there a you've box opened still all locked? The... No, no, you've opened That's where the gold was. The silver was. Yeah, yeah. That's where the so gold was. Let's lock the uh, let's lock the soldiers in these two rooms that I put the red over, yeah. and then we can just can we find get, our own rooms. Can we get stat rolls for the soldiers? Well, I don't know if you want to do that because I don't. I'm trying to see if they're worth us maybe investing in. Um, so I think like either strength or intelligence rolls are interesting. 
Um, because then we might want to bring them part of the crew, if that makes sense. Uh, they both have 12 strength, and one of them has 11 int, and the other has 12 int. Okay, fuck off. Thank you. So as you, you put, you've put the bodies up there, you've drawn your blood spiral, you lock <laughs> these prisoners in your room, in their rooms, it's late, it's really late. You can lock no the front of the, the keep, throw the bar on it. No room will go to the roof to find a gentle rain coming down. Um, the bodies stacked to the sides, the spiral of blood sort of washing away with the gentle rain that comes down. What do you do from the rooftop in the wee hours of the morning before the sun rises, Nilrum? Uh, no, I'm probably just gonna take the bodies and, um, well, how many bodies are up there right now? Well, you said you brought all the bodies, so one, two, three, there's 16, 17, 18, there should be 19, but you didn't bring them all, 17 corpses up here. No, I was debating 16 on corpses, because one of them's still in town. Throwing them off, but I think that would be bad, so. Nilrum's got nothing better to do, really. Um, I guess, Just, oh, is it sleep time? Or did, I'm trying to think, like, did we skip sleeping to do this? Uh, it was like nighttime, yeah. Everyone needs a rest. Everyone needs And now it's in the morning. Well, you know, it's, the sun hasn't come up yet. It's still early, early hours. Um, All right, well, is, Nilrum doesn't like his new symbols being fucked with, so if he can, in a quick manner, move the bodies to recreate the symbol, that'd be kind of cool, but... With the corpses? That's what we'll do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can make a um, spiral of corpses. You know, before I go to sleep, I want to do a once-over of the tower, so I probably find myself coming up the stairs here as Nilram is doing this. And I say, By Martha's tits, Nilram, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Just, uh... I've always had a something about my luck, Captain. It's always led me to um, Ponos, so I'm gonna try my luck here. See All what right. happens. You, yeah. you know your soul is owned by the drowned god, right? This is this is some bad juju, my friend. I would. I don't mean to tell you what to think or what to do. You're certainly a learned scholar, but uh, this can't be wise, can it? And two gods work together. I just feel like all the wizards that I read about in the books, they always cast aside the gods. But in this world, the gods exist. They're real. We've seen them touched. You saw the one island where Aster apparently took everything. It seems foolish not to use them. Sorry, not use them. Um, not to bequest them for aid. You have illusions of Granger, my pointy hatted front. And what are you, just one man? Amidst the millions that live across these islands, across these continents, Don't what makes you it. so special? I almost squint at you. I'm the greatest liver wizard alive, Captain. And soon you'll know that. I hope so, Nilrim. But, uh, yeah. And well, also a good friend, and he'll put his hand out there. I motion to the, the whatever this is that's going on here. I say, all of this, I don't want anything to do with it. I want. You to know, I look up at the sky one. Wait, no, I look out to the sea. I want you to know that this has nothing to do with me. My heart's yours. <laughs> I know my position. Okay, I understand the situation I'm in. This, I'm not here for it. He can do what he wants. And I will, like, uh, step over some of the bodies here and jump down the stairs. You're, you're not calling out the name of the drowned god. No, no. You can use these metaphors, looks, but yeah. no, no speaking the name. I uh, shake my head to myself as I walk back down the stairs and think about, like, if there is a hell, what kind of hell is Nilrim going to? As I uh, walk down the stairs, far away from this madness. That's Nilrim two will, of the party uh... now that I've caught butchering corpses <laughs> and making some sort of weird fucking <laughs> monuments. No one before he goes to bed, um, he'll kneel down and he'll say, um, I'm sorry that your blood symbol was uh, getting smushed by the rain. 
Hopefully this fixed it. And if nothing happens, he'll get up and go to bed. Like the White Walkers from the first episode of Game of Thrones. I don't know if this is something that is important to Nilrum, or if this is just one of those, like, what happens when you've got bodies that are freshly dead and decomposing. But as you walk to the stairs, you'll notice one of the hands sort of, like, twitches and spasms and, like, ends up not, like, grabbing your ankle, but, like, ending up in a grasping position on your ankle. It's definitely not stopping you. It, under normal circumstances, one might consider this just, like, the twitching of a recently dead body as, like, the last little bits of ATP get used up and the last electrical impulses spasm through it. But you did just make a, you know, a circle of corpses. Yeah. Is this meaningful to Nilrum, or is this just Nilrum what happens will, with the dead? like, it... it it grabbed his ankle? Well, you know, the hand kind of like spasmed sure. and like did that and ended up like on the ankle, but not gripping it. No strength behind yeah. it, just in the- <clears throat> But like on it. Yeah. Nilrum will think that's peculiar and I guess he'll kneel down to the person's face that grabbed him, the dead person. Yeah, it's about and he'll like look at it. the face is blackened and charred uh, and like completely removed. The, the cheeks are gone, showing you the gums and the teeth on the one side. The other side is mostly intact, a little bit of blackening and charring and uh, burning, but otherwise still there with uh, its one I'll eye down. open and like staring straight ahead right at you. And I'll say, um, am I doing you proud? As you like lift the head up, the blood in the body sloshes a little bit and now comes like a, like a last little death gurgle. As the lungs are pressed. You know, will smirk. That's a yes. He'll drop the head and he'll happily go to bed. If we're in a shared room, I'm not going to let Nilrim sleep in a room with us after that. Because <laughs> he's probably covered in, like, all sorts of yeah, horrible probably. shit, right? Is it raining? I'll, like, Gently. tell him to go and stand outside and clean himself off. There should be pools of rivers of blood running down to the tower, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Probably. These steps here are definitely not clean anymore. You know, it's leaking down and sort of pooling around here a wee bit. Is um, Nilrum will probably wash himself off as he does it upstairs. Is the side of the tower, like, leaking blood at this point? Yeah, the staircase here doesn't have a like a, uh, an easy to close door on it. And so built into the side of the stair, into the side of the wall is like a little um, drain. <laughs> so any water that comes down through the open staircase can drain out the side. But now that water is mixed with blood. So in the morning, when someone steps outside, you'll see a long red streak dripping down the very front of the, the tower. Why don't we I got go, ballet. Okay. Yeah. Why don't we go to our, our break here and come back on the other side with a little more tides of death? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tides of Death. In the night, while everyone is getting their rest, Nilrum is awoken. The door to your room squeaks open and you shoot awake. And standing Nilrum grabs his bard dagger in the door. Lit by the brightening dawn standing behind it is a charred corpse from upstairs. One of these bodies that's been like ripped apart and burned. Its head is like barely formed together. And in its one good hand, it carries the head of some other person, clearly. Stands in the doorway and lifts the severed head. It's one good hand and the severed head speaks to you. Jesus. Why have you summoned me to ease your own suffering? Nilrum shakes his head. 
I just wanted to um, show you that I did good suffering on others. I don't really want anything from you. Blessed child. Speaks the severed skull. Um, and the corpse collapses to the ground. The head rolls across the floor a little bit. That. Everyone else no will wake up. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Or everyone will eventually wake up and uh, go about your day. It's morning. You haven't had a good enough sleep to memorize spells, um, and the sun is up, and the birds are chirping, and the rain has stopped, and there's no way you're going to go back to sleep to get the rest that you need. No one will um, grab the head and the body, and he'll take it back, and he'll put them in the spiral. Yeah. Uh, Sale, would you give me a perception Hi. check? Let's see. Maybe <laughs> you notice this happening. Maybe not. No, no one no. knows about the severed head unless Nilrum tells them. Um, in the clear light of day, you can see the town is more or less still going about its business. People are waking up, heading out into the streets. People go to and fro for work. Um, aside from the lightning strikes that happened last night, no one seems to be aware of the chaos that happened at the, the castle, at the citadel. The, the shouts and cries of warfare were a little bit too far away to be heard and muffled by the interior and the thunderstorm outside. An observant person might have seen the tower get struck twice by lightning, um, but it, that doesn't seem to be un, entirely unnatural. And from your position here, with no one the wiser, you can look out over your land. Yes. So in that? the morning, I'll make a uh, coffee for people in the morning. You know, get a bit of food ready. And uh, <clears throat> once everyone's eaten, I'll say, Nilram, Sale, not sure what you guys are doing today, but Archie, I need you for something. Give me a hand. Always, Captain. All right. Grab that chest with all the silver. Bring it with us. I'll grab it. Um. Okay. Come on. We're going to town. And then uh, me and Archie are going to drag the chest of silver to town, and I want to make my way to the town square. Mm-hmm. Um, you bring in Sail with you, or are you leaving Sail I mean, behind? I, no, I you guys like can come if you want. I would like to ask you where you're going and what you're doing. I'm going to set up court, get the silver on show, find somewhere to sit, invite the peasants, and uh, gonna politely tell them what's himself from this one. Mm -hmm. I don't have any spells, Captain. Can't be of any use from you, and yeah, well, that's probably I feel for the like best. Or <laughs> appearance will only uh, cause issues among the uh, the townsfolk. Yeah, maybe find a, a washerwoman to clean your robes or something. You look and smell awful. Normal. Wow. Nod. And tell you to watch your tone. <laughs> <laughs> I give a smack at that. And uh, you coming with Sal? I probably shouldn't leave Nilrum alone. Huh. God knows what the two of you will get up together. Listen, a little bit of redecorating, this place will look great. Well, whatever the biggest building is in town, that's where we're going to be. We'll see you there if you need us. It sounds good. All right. And, uh, yeah, we uh, head off into the town square. Yeah. How do you look coming into the town square? I mean, clearly some of you have been injured in the night before. You've got like a slash across your face that is healing magically from the, the ointment yeah. that you've got. Um, I got like an arrow are... still sticking in me. Yeah. Are you um, trying to show off your signs of combat or are you trying to hide your signs of combat and like show off civility? What, what tone are you striking with your physical appearance? Yeah, civility, yeah. I think so. Okay. Sure. Well, into town we go. Uh, town is happy and sleepy and, you know, trying to wash away the nightmare that was last night with the murder of the innocent Timmy. Um, innocent. Till you come into town, dragging this chest between the two of you. And quickly, the rumors begin to spark up 
as you come into the largest building, you said? Yes. Some sort of a gathering hall here in town. You could call it the, the town hall. It's right down by the dock. The big windows that look out over to it, over over the, the shore, gentle waves lapping, and the distant sound of bells on the ships as they rock back and forth in the harbor. A few civilians come and peer on inside to see what's happening as you clear a table to make your little your little court. That yeah, you I'm, get the biggest chair I can find. Maybe even mm -hmm. stack it on top of some stones or books or something so it's raised a little. And then what? Uh, I will sit down in my chair. I'm going to put on some nice jewelry that I've got hanging around. I... Yeah, I've got my hat. I'm going to collect the uh, Maurice. Was it called Maurice the monkey? You would have taken our 20% out before you left, right? You're not going to leave with 20% in the thing? Oh, he can't I even haul a thousand pounds of silver with him. <laughs> okay. That's too much oh, for the no. two of them to haul. Uh, Archie could drag it, though. No? A thousand pounds? That's, that's <laughs> too much even Archie... for Archie. It's Archie. Okay. No, well, it's, one, it's one chest full, I guess. Oh, wait, how much can Archie max press right now? What, uh, go to your basic tab. Uh, Pokemon. Your 18th strength, right? It's like 220, 230 or something. Yeah, mm. 220, 230. So even if you can drag... I'm 17 strength, sorry. Oh, okay. 220. So even if you can drag twice as much, that's still only uh, 440 pounds. That's fine. I just bring one chest overflowing yeah. with coins. If it splits over a few chests, that's fine. I just bring one chest. Mm -hmm. um, I get it set up on the table next to me, flung open with like some of it spilling out onto the table in front of me. I'm sat on my raised chair. I'm on... Archie stood to my left. Um, mm -hmm. I've got some nice jewelry on. I've got Maurice on my shoulder or, you know, like on the back of the chair with me. And I take a deep breath and say, ah, do you know what, Archie? This is where I was meant to be. This is what I was made for. If only I wasn't hampered by the uh, lowness of my birth. I could have imagined a good life for both of us, in fact. But today, today we are both lords, or at least I am. Why don't you uh, head out into the town there and... Uh, Shout a greeting, town crier like, you know, to the to the peasants. Let them know that we'll be holding court here and we'll be uh, redistributing their taxes and helping them with their woes. All right. <clears throat> uh, Archie will drag the chest. Wait, he's still dragging the chest, uh, right? No, the chest is now on the table with me. Okay. Just go yeah. and tell the peasants. Ar Archie will, will, will walk through the streets. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The Crimson Fist has taken over the island. Your lords are no more. The reign of the White Prince is to end soon. We are holding court to listen to all your woes and give you back your taxes. Come out and talk to us. We've got, your, we've got open ears and open arms for you. And sure enough, the White Prince's men gone. Our taxes returned. What's this? And bit by bit, the t people of the town will gather in the hall. Before everyone's assembled, while still some people are poking in heads from out far, or, you know, discussing in the streets whether or not it's safe to go inside, um, someone will appear. Uh, a middle-aged woman will walk in and look straight at you, uh, Archie. You! You were responsible for my son's death. You killed him oh, last night. Your son was a criminal and he fought back against the Crimson Fist. Maybe you should have done a better job raising him. Ah, sick bad. Fucking face. <laughs> In tears, she will stream out of the building. It's not what she had hoped for. Wait, was you... this in the building? Uh, she was she at the to... doorway, you know. Uh, lady, fair lady, come back. Let me, uh, let me at least pay recompense. Give me a charisma check. She's uh, pretty distraught. Let's see if you can convince her. Come on, Nick. Power of your yes. voice. You can get a good roll for once. Oh, no, this is going to be a good one. You, you think a 20 or an 18? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'll 17. I'll take a 12. I'll take a 12. Good. Okay. That's good, yeah. Uh, she pauses, hearing the lordly voice of the captain. And the word recompense, um, and stops. Ooh, fuck my kid, money. 
steps back forward. No amount of blood gold will ever make up for the loss of my son. Step forth into the candlelight, my dear, so I may see your your beautiful face. She steps forward into the room. There's a few other people here taking a look. The Timmy's mom. Should be 18. That's not as hot as Stacy's mom. Say now, what is your name? Stacy. Stacy, and uh, what is it you do in this town here? I'm a laundress. Fantastic. And your son, Timmy, you say? What did he do? He helped at home. Right, right. <laughs> not the most lucrative of positions, but still. He was I a young can, uh... man, not yet in his prime. Indeed. Indeed. Well, sorry business, all of that. And uh, I extend, on behalf of all of us here, on behalf of uh, Jamuba and the, the peasants of this town, our most heartfelt uh, sorrows for what you've been through. And uh, nothing will ever bring back Timmy, but we hope that we can uh, make your life more simple going forward. Please, come closer. Mm-hmm. Kill her. Uh, she Does she come forward? closer? Yeah. Okay. As she... Uh, no, no. Closer. Closer. She steps closer still. Concerned? Worried? Now, you can see there's a great deal of silver here, and I would like to gift some of it to you for your troubles. But first of all, I need to know that you're not going to cause us any trouble. Events passing and all that. Uh, I need to know that we can let bygones be bygones here and move on peacefully. Do I have your word, Stacy? I hand the banana over my shoulder to see more on the chair. Yeah, munches on it with his good teeth. Archie's gonna tap you because he also wants a banana. I hand another one to Archie. <laughs> he'll, he'll eat the banana. Stacy looks to you and, um, shakes her head my son's not yet fresh in the ground and you're asking me to move on not personally but I don't want there to be any grudges between us I will accept your blood money but I won't <laughs> like it fantastic I hold out my hand to her with a like a nice sovereign ring on there for her to mm-hmm. kiss it Another charisma check. That's asking a lot. You're pushing <laughs> the bounds much. of what you can get away with. Yeah, I got it again. Uh, <laughs> they gotta kiss it. the ring for the money. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you tell her to call you Lord too? <laughs> Not yet, but yeah, I will do. <laughs> okay. Get a quick. Price conversion here. Trying to get figure out what the the typical price of blood money is. This is a timeless mm. tradition. This goes back ages and ages. Um, in the Nordic countries in the real world, we called it uh, weregild. Weregild. Um, there's a bunch of different terms for this, but if you kill someone, you can never really make up for it, but if you give them a certain amount of money, it's sort of like, you know, the pain. it's supposed to ease the pain and be considered the appropriate um, recompense. No one's necessarily thrilled by this system, but it is an old system that has ex- uh, existed for a long, long time. So how much to you, Nick, is the life of a man? Like in modern money? Sure, or, you know, in silver and gold and copper, whatever you want. I mean, I was thinking of giving out, like, you know, like a thousand silver or mm-hmm. the equivalent in gold, like a hundred gold. Mm-hmm. A hundred gold, a thousand silver. That's a pretty good yeah. amount of money. Mm-hmm. We already gave us some money as well, but this is going to be a lot more. So I will, uh, I will open a bag and I will start, like, piling silver into it and gold until it's about Wait. that much. Can you pile and look at her face? How is she looking as it piles up, you know? Does her face mm-hmm. change at like 20 gold and 100 gold? 
Um, no, it's sort of stern and stoic with tears running down, trying not to display any emotion. She's she's here for the money, but she's not excited. And at no point does it soften. Keep piling. It'll soften. <laughs> yeah, well, I get to a thousand silver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I will uh, push heavily the back towards her across the table and say, uh, nothing will replace the life of your son in your eyes. I know this. But hopefully this coin will help ease your suffering and provide you a good life. Let it be known that Lord Winters is a benevolent and generous ruler. All hail Lord Winters. She goes. Uh, Yeah. Um, And quickly as she exits, people swarm around her to see what's going on and she tells them what transpired inside. And one by one, more people from the town begin to come indoors and ask, what, what happened at the tower? Where are the White Prince's men? What was that lightning last night? The White Prince's men stood in our way. They refused to acknowledge our reason for being here, and so we put them in their graves. For no longer will Jamuba bow to the White Prince and his false god. Oh, 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 back and forth. You are free now, peasants. And with that freedom comes a lack of taxes. So please, come forth and receive what you are owed. People will start to follow in. Um, they, they form a line very quickly and hold out hands. All right, now I'm no mathematician, but I do my best here. I want to try and time this so that I can do this like four or so days a week for a few hours and not run out of money by the end of it. So I want this to be going on for, you know, most of the month while we're here, holding court a few days a week. So I, I will give out gold and silver to the people based on their woes, you know, oh, if this guy's farm's been burnt down, I might give him a bit more, but mm-hmm. I will just uh, hand out the silver as required until, you know, I take my time with it. I make them kiss the ring. I make them say, you know, bow or whatever. I soak it all in, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I uh, DM'd you as well, Poipo, for what Norm will be doing. Not of any rush. Just ends up. Sail, you had come down and you were in town with Archie and Captain Winters and the monkey, right? Uh, I think I was. I think I was just staying in the tower to, so that Nilrum wasn't alone with the two captives. Got it. Does that mean you're like keeping an eye on Nilrum, or are you just like hanging out so that he isn't getting? Um, are you are you here to protect Nilrum, or are you here to protect the, the captives? Uh, I, there'd probably be a conversation between me and Nilrum if he wanted to go off and do something on his own. He would just be like. Watch the guys. I'm, I'll be back in a few hours. And I'm like, okay. Let me know if you go out. And then that would be... I would just, like, sit around and make sure yeah, no one comes out. up to the tower and stuff. Yeah, I'm just, like, hanging out. Okay. Okay, cool. Not a problem. Well, Nick, give me an intelligence chest. See how uh, quickly, how, oh, okay. how well you are <laughs> at... Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, you can slowly oh. but surely dole out money. And as people come to you, they, they will agree. The White Prince is a menace. Uh... The tragedy what happened to Tim. Terrible, terrible thing. Uh, they'll take their money and go, and someone else will come and ask, is it, is it true? All the men in the castle are dead. They all lie dead in their graves, waiting for the crows. Won't is the White Captain Prince... Winter's meaning to lie there? Because there's two left. Oh, yeah, I guess there is two left, but, you know. I'm just making sure, okay. Is is the won't the white princess men come back for it? Come back for us? Some won't won't we be in danger? There are, there are some en route this very moment, but you can trust us. Your lord here will protect you. I will do away with the white prince's ships, sink them before they can ever reach the dock, slay any that survive the beaches. You are safe now, my friends. Safe from oppression, from false gods. 
take the money. Of course. I give him some money and I'll throw it like an apple or something mm -hmm. for him. And then as he goes to take it, I will hold it back and hand out the uh, my hand with the ring for him to kiss. And he kisses the ring. Uh, and soon the wealth is distributed amongst the town. You can but see I'm, that I'm, man... I'm doing... I, I want it to last the whole month, right? I want to be right. doing this on the regular. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, you can see Robert and some of the other speakers that were there the night before when the, the group of youths were protesting against the White Prince's men. They hold back in the town square and do not come to receive your attention or your money. Um, you do notice through the open doors that they do talk to some people. They manage to turn a few back from approaching the town hall, but most of the people in town are convinced by the fact that the White Prince's men are gone and they're all getting money and, you know... There's one dead civilian casualties of war. Didn't okay. really like him. Exactly. Well, as I spot these uh, these these guys from last night talking to the people coming out and stopping the people from coming in, I will uh, hold back the the next peasant, mm -hmm. and I will motion like Archie, come closer. I need to tell you something. I'm moving closer. And I whisper in his ear. I say, uh, those guys from the tavern last night, they're causing trouble out there. Go and have a word for them. Either they get in line or they go back to their homes and don't bother any of the loyal citizens of our island. Um, I'll do as I'm told. What do you see? Captain Winters is really enjoying this, isn't he? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what do you do when you get out there, Archie? And they're talking amongst themselves. And as you come out, they like stop and bristle and fan out a little bit. And uh, Robert steps forward, narrows his eyes at you. Uh, what were the captain's exact instructions? I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, I, I guess I, I guess Archie forgot, huh? Yeah. Yes. Uh, you said take care of it, right? <laughs> All right, Ar Archie's uh, Archie's uh, Excuse he's at uh, a little bit. But he was really listening to John. So he's like, "Hey, what's uh, what's going on out here?" Just uh, enjoying the day, much as one can when your friend has been murdered night by pirates how many people did the white prince murder here none none huh well that's awkward <laughs> <laughs> um whatever you guys are doing you better stop doing that right now you guys can <laughs> can either come along with us and you'll be strong and you'll prosper and you won't get your you know taxes drained um and maybe no other friends have to die or you can keep doing what you're doing and then i i can't guarantee any of the things that i just listed so you know it's kind of up to you at this point give me a charisma check archie <laughs> um it's very good uh, about two-thirds of the group sort of shudders away from Robert and the other leaders. And uh, they make their way towards the building. Some with shrugs. One of them with a, well, they got rid of the White Prince. So Sorry, Rob. And uh, hurries off. Robert and a few of the other leaders stay behind, uh, watching their power disband as the people of the town move to the, the new present leaders, or at least the new people who are handing out money. Um, and with most of his group gone, Robert and the remainders will turn and retreat, heading back deep into the streets until you lose sight of them. Never to trouble you again, hopefully. Um, and now yeah, all right. I, you know, I, I do that. I think we can we can move on. Yeah, we can enter a piece of re a period of relative peace here in town. Awesome. White Prince's men are gone. You have a tower and two prisoners, hostages, uh, however you want to call them. The 14th is a long way away. What's the plan? Ooh, quick question. It seemed like, uh, I guess to the other cast members out of character, it seemed like Ponos was like expecting Nilrum to ask for something, right? There was a weird moment last night, yeah. I well, he never want to share this, but yeah. I don't want to telegraph too much of my intent. I like leaving things yeah. up to people to interpret. To me at least, and to Nilrum, I guess, no one will be thinking about this to himself, and he'll be like, it seemed like Ponos was 
expecting me to ask him of something. It seemed like he was kind of annoyed at first. But at the end when, I mean, I didn't want anything, he was quite pleased and called me blessed child. So normal, think on that a little bit. <clears throat> um, he does what he... No one spends his time doing something that I DM to Koibu. Um, seemed chill. And uh, I get spells back and everything? Uh, yeah, because we're here for many days, so you will get spells back. Are there any of the White Prince's ships inside the harbor? No. Okay. There was one White Prince guard down at the dock, though, <laughs> if I remember. We still haven't dealt with him. Remember the guy at the... What, That's a good point. He yeah. ran up, I think, to the... Oh, maybe he did the, it. Yeah, I think he ran up. Okay, I'm going to get my spells back then. Um, I don't... I guess we'll spend time looking for... No, no one's going to spend his time making another um, ship in a bottle. Okay. Um, so we're here for a month. And it yep. sounds like there's there's no intent to do anything else, no uh, murdering, well, I, I no think pillaging. As we get a little bit closer to the arrival, we should formulate a plan to deal with mm -hmm. Hubert, and that'll probably involve talking to the two prisoners. But I think mm -hmm. we should, over the course of the month, in terms of the prisoners, like manage their situation where they start in chains, locked in a door, yeah. or tied up, basically, and then over the course of the month, we'll grant them maybe more and more luxuries until we can kind of feel like maybe they're uh, understanding their situation a little bit better and we can use them and as for myself if Archie will come with me I'll hold court I don't want to do it without Archie because it's too dangerous so I will uh... no one will come when you yeah, okay. talk to the prisoners and I guess bring food or whatever mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, yeah How I think they, I spend most yeah. of my time doing lordly stuff how are the prisoners feeling? Normal, get a grasp, I guess. Oh, terrible. All of their friends. I mean, these people, the impression that you get after talking to the folks in the town and after observing the castle is that the White Prince has an outpost out here that occasionally gets, like, resupplied or occasionally has some, you know, greater authority coming through. But for the most part, it's these um, 16 soldiers plus two knights and uh, a cleric. <laughs> who are the White Prince's authority out here. And they all know each other well. They've probably all been stationed here for years. They're all friends. This is their home. They are on like some sort of glorious mission for their god and for their, their king. Um, and you just murdered all of them. And now they're prisoners in their own home. Uh, so they're very bad. They do not look like they will ever cooperate at this point. Out of character, Ponos would be really happy at that. Um, true, true. Yes. We can make him cooperate. Um, I guess Norm will spend his time <laughs> making them cooperate. <laughs> do you want to elaborate a little bit? Norm will do a little bit of uh, war crime torture while the <laughs> captain is going and being a lord um, on these guys. They're going to... You know, he did this with the other guy. It seemed to work. He said, fuck Astaire, fuck uh, the White Prince. Mm -hmm. He's going to do a little bit of torture on these guys. <clears throat> a um, little bit of torture. Just a little bit of torture. He'll let Sale in on it, because uh, Sale's going to be mainly there with him. But, Archie um, does gonna... have a torturing proficiency. Yeah, all three of you make a nice little torture squad, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, if Archie... How did Archie react when... Nilrim had tortured the other guy. Archie's done plenty of torturing himself. He didn't really bat an eye at it. Okay, well. Nilrim will mainly do it when you guys are out, because that's just the time. He has stuff time to do. But when you come back, you know, maybe one day he'll be feeling good and he'll invite you over. He'll learn a few things from your torturing proficiency and um, he'll use them. So yeah, uh, Nilrim's goal in life is to make these two be uh, excited to work with us. Archie will quickly see the telltale signs of torture on these folks. It's a hard thing for someone like Archie to miss. Um, do you join in, Archie? Um, I like 
I'm more like a little annoyed at the like bad craftsmanship. Mm. So I give Nilrin mm. some hints onto like you know when you're when you're bending their when you're bending their fingers you're gonna do this and you know when you're crushing their balls it's a little bit better to use this and oh all that kind of thing. Um, well, I never thought to do that. Yeah. You give me a, a torturing proficiency check then, Archie. Absolutely. He just well, doesn't roll bad. Yeah, I mean, you're you're telling, you're giving advice to another person. It's not quite the yeah. same as handling yeah. it yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, they get tortured for let's say ten days in. What's up? How are they feeling? <laughs> they excited to serve? Well, one of them doesn't make it. The one that was on lower HP, the torturing uh, ends up being a little bit too intense. Wait, are you sure? Because we have a healing proficiency person. Um, can he have a healing proficiency role to like save them? Yeah. Yeah, when you realize that they're slipping away, that something like a mistake was made and a, a knife went in too deep or um, you know, too much skin was removed all at once, you can get, I think it's sail with the healing proficiency. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sale, you feel comfortable healing the man who's tortured almost to death? Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like the torture feels kind of pointless, but I will, you know, I'll Uh, help Nilrim because I've got nothing better to do. Give me a healing proficiency check. Oh, that's not going to work. You try. You get to him to try and stabilize him, but he's lost too much blood already, and he's lost, most importantly, the will to live. Um, so one of them won't make it through, but that's okay. You have two. You didn't need the guy on one HP. I'll add his body to the spiral upstairs. Um, the other one. Uh, just for flavor, Nilrum would drag him up there, um, go over to the head that had talked to him, um, put the corpse, like I guess, in the middle, and like whisper to the head like he was too weak, um, and go back down. Would you give me a wisdom check, a willpower check, please? Not my strongest thing. The other person is, oh man, even the very best morale check that he's got, not great enough. Um, he promises to tell you everything that you need to know to overcome the White Prince. So you're willing to work with us now? Oh, I can tell you anything you want. What do you want? Uh, did you have any hidden rooms in this tower? Or any hidden uh, areas? No. No, no nothing, nothing hidden. No, everything's okay. out in the Why open. Is... It's all very up, up front. Why is the father coming here? Who? Uh, I, I'll look to sail. What's his name again? Father? Uh, Hubert? Father Hubert. Hubert. Father Hubert's coming here? I didn't know. Not for your salvation. We're here to kill him. And now that you guys uh, lost the tower, this should be a trivial thing. Flabbergasted. It's a peaceful man, but he's got a bodyguard with him. Strong cleric, a, 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 a strong fighter with them at all times. I didn't even think they'll get on land. You saw our lightning spell, didn't you? Well, I guess you didn't, but you heard it. <laughs> you saw the results. I like blowing my fingers. Mm-hmm. Giver is at the thought. What, what else do you want to know? What else can I tell you? Just just make it stop. Um, take me to your leader's office. <laughs> I want to go through his paperwork. Yeah. That's the room that you ransacked earlier, um, that you used tables and barricade. chairs to barricade the stairwell. You get there. Okay. Uh, no one will start going through the paperwork, I guess. Anything yeah. of interest? Most of it is pretty clerical stuff. Just like, you know, um, at this much money has been paid to these soldiers on this day. Here's my log of what happened. Here's any injustices that I've seen. Here's my opinion on like the, the opinions of the town. Next day, same shit. You know, next week, same shit. Was there um, opinion of the town? 
The, you can read through these notes, and the assessment of the town is increasingly dim. Apparently, these soldiers have been keeping goblins at bay, occasionally foraying out into the forest to actually hunt down groups of goblins. But in the last year, the goblins pulled far enough back that there haven't been any goblin encounters. And yet the White Prince's men continue to collect certain fees from the town hall here, from the, the main council of civilians that are in this town. And the the notes increasingly show like a, a frustration of the pound of the town with paying these fees. And the cleric no room will hand this note, these notes, to the captain for when he goes down there the next day. He can start using this propaganda um, if he wants. It's up to him. But I think that this would help the cause that the goblins have pushed far enough, yeah. far enough back. Yeah. For sure. Cool. Talk about how the white prince was stealing their. Uh their money for killing the goblins that had already been defeated, etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Nilrum will take the bodyguard up, or the, sorry, the heavy guard up to the top and show him his brilliant spy spiral and mm -hmm. ask him if he knows what it is. The spiral is, at this point, covered in carrion birds who are ripping apart the remains of the dead. And the guy will look at it and nod and go, of course, everyone recognizes the symbol of Malchus, out of chaos. No one will slap him. Ah! You idiot. You buffoon. This is the symbol of Ponos. God of suffering? Is that no who you laugh. serve? It's who I am currently paying uh, tribute to. <clears throat> he looks at you. He nods. Things click in his brain. You're torturing him for fun. You just enjoy uh, the suffering. No laughs maniacally. And he'll uh, drag him down and torture him a little bit, even though he's cooperative. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well. That way, that, that night's frame, I come back from the town hall with Archie. Ah, another good day being a lord, lads. So, um, Nilram, how's our how's our prisoner getting on? He's actually been quite cooperative. Audience laughs. Look what I uh, look what I found, Captain. And he'll bring over the notes, and I'll have you read through them. <clears throat> this should help you out in the morning, yeah. I'll have to read through them. What's the gist of it? Uh, the gist is they were taking money from the townspeople, even though the goblins have pushed back far enough that they're no longer going to invade them. Devils. Those white princes are uh, clerics. And they take the piss truly on not, an industrial scale. Truly not as just of a lord as you, my Of course lord. not. <laughs> and he bows. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to see he you reaches, showing some respect for once for the in ring. <laughs> Of course, my child. <laughs> he gives you a overly dramatic kiss on the ring. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, yes, if I could see the prisoner, perhaps I... I worry that Archie is growing bored by my side, acting as a guard. Maybe we can put this one to use. I hope that he's at least still able to walk. I think he'll be overjoyed to see you, Captain. Right, well, perhaps uh, I'm reading between the lines here, Nelra. Maybe you should just give me the key and let me speak to him. Maybe you shouldn't uh, come along. Sure. No one will hand you the key. Yeah, I go to the uh, the guard's room. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, crack it open a little bit. Hey, bud, you doing all right? I say as I as I come in with Seymour. I'm fine. Comes the yeah? wind cry. Oh god, you're looking rough. But is the the room not to your liking? Are you not sleeping well? I say closing the door behind me. It's fine. Yes, well you do me a favor, could you? Could you stand up for a moment? Rises. Mm -hmm. You think you can still hold a spear? A shield? Shakes his head. You can see there, you know, his hands are owl shapen at this point. There's been breaking and pulling of nails. This guy is going to need like a month of rest before he can do anything of, of use to you. You are in a bad way. Here, um, hopefully this isn't too forward. Take a seat. Put your arms up. Let's get your uh, clothes off. <laughs> Shudders. Jesus Christ. The clothes are slowly removed. He I, uh, his eyes I'll... closed. The whole time. Pull out one of the healing salves. I take it off the sheet. I'm going to spend the whole thing on him. Mm. On his wounds. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. on the major the major ones where he's been, you know, where he's been 
slashed or whatever crazy shit and all been doing to him. Right, right. Allegedly. You rub the ointment in, and as it begins to take effect, he, like, lets out a gentle sigh. Finally, some, some kindness, some compassion. Uh, and the sigh turns into just, like, uh, what do you call it? Just a relentless weeping and, like, crying at the, the first gesture of softness death. towards him. Death. There, there, old chap. It's gonna be all right. I put a hand on his shoulder. I sit with him, or stand there with him for a while mm -hmm. while he cries. Say, so, well, hopefully you'll be, uh, come morning, you'll be back on your feet. Unfortunately, uh, my visit here is not purely compassionate. I need a, I need a guard by my side. And as the sole survivor of the, the great siege of Jamuba Keep, Surely you will be the most qualified for that. You think you're up to the task? <laughs> he mutters. Murmurs. I can trust you, right? I mean, there's no way for you to run. Shakes his head. Well, as in, I can't trust you, or...? Uh, you can trust me. There's nowhere to run. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Well, uh, listen, you rest there. Let the let the ointment soak in. I'll go and get you some food. And I'll, uh, I'll go and get this guy some fruit and... Some bread or whatever. Just send Nilra back in now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, yeah, I, I leave him some food and maybe get him. If Fuck. he's not got if he's not got blankets on his bed, I'll get him some blankets or whatever. You know, I want to make him comfortable. Okay. He's comfortable now. And, great. And in the morning, I'm going to bring him with me to the to the hall. Okay. And. What do you do with him in the hall? No, he just stands guard like Archie was. Mm. I mean, he could try and make a run for it, but where's he going to get? Where's he going to go? He won't. Right? Yeah. No one made sure of that. Don't worry, Captain. Good job. Like all good cop, bad cop routines working well. Well, the time passes. The days roll into the first week. And week and week go but by. Question? Mm -hmm. uh, Nirwim will probably make one or two more visits up to the spiral. Um, it is does he get increasingly anything? covered by like carrion birds who rip mm -hmm. apart the corpses up there and shit all over the building. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, are you um, looking for something in particular? Some sign? Some something? Um, yeah. He probably will talk to the head one time. And um, he's obviously not looking for anything. Uh, the only question he would ask is, um, does this bring you uh, satisfaction? Or do I bring you really satisfaction? doesn't really talk back to you. You don't really get any more responses from it. Cool. You had the, the initial night... And then, or the the initial um, sort of that twitching of the hand, the wheezing yeah. of the lungs, and then the corpse that appeared in the middle of the night. But since then, there have been no signs, nothing to interpret. Okay. Mm. Cool. But I think now is the time to sort out your plan for when Hubert arrives. Oh, well, can we get XP? Because we've been in a safe situation for an entire month. Yeah. There we usually yeah. only do it at our base, but I think that this is like a extenuating circumstance where we have made this technically a base right now. Yeah, let me pull up some stuff and I'll start calculating XP while you guys go over your plan. Perfect. Um, I wanted to see if the cleric's armor would fit me, uh, and then check the town for rumors, uh, and yeah. then also the cleric's armor will fit you. It is chain mail. Um, but it comes with the caveat that most of the time this area is too hot to really like wear full armor and it'll you can put it on like if you know you're about to get into a fight and it should be fine but if you're like trekking around in the chain mail and the padded armor that comes underneath it in order to keep it from like you know pinching at your skin all the time um, you'll quickly overheat in ordinary circumstances uh, but it does fit you, and you can take it, and if you're only going to wear it for a short period of time, in most situations, that's fine. Yeah, I'll probably just, like, squirrel it away somewhere to maybe take with us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, 
then there was two other things I wanted to do in the interlude, but I guess we'll do XP first. Uh, well, I need to calculate it, so please. Yeah, well, um, in terms of plan, hmm? I think we need to make sure the town looks as normal as possible as Father Hubert gets here. Uh, yeah. If anything smells weird or looks weird, he might not even land. And then we, you know, we could have an extended chase on the open water. I'm also going to try to contact Rohi for more information. Um, Because he gave us pretty vague instructions. What do you guys think? Uh, I think that's a good idea. Contacting your god. You're going to talk to the Sandman again? Yeah, you can come too if you want. If you want to see it, Archie. Maybe you'll see I'd, him. I'd really like to see it. Yeah, that'd be sick. When I go, I'll bring Archie with me to the beach. All right. Uh, and what do you do down at this beach? What do you say? What are uh, you looking for? I will fix in my mind the image of like the lightning striking the tower and all the corpses at the top. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the image of like the cleric being vaporized by Neurum's lightning bolt. I'm like thinking about all of that. And then I am requesting information uh, I didn't actually think about my question my question is is staying here the right move mm -hmm. or is this the are we on the right path essentially You use your omen readings. You you pull out the sand. You drip it in a tide pool that you find a little bit away from the town. Um, and as the sand falls into the gentle tide pool area, you notice it doesn't spread out. It doesn't form a lot of patterns. Instead, it just sort of forms a singular like block of sand. Like the first part of it lands a little bit down, and then it sort of builds up and up and up and up, and then back and back and back, almost like you're 3D printing a, a little block of sand. Uh, I will pick it up and inspect it. It crumbles in your hands when you try to pick it up, but it's definitely <laughs> um, like a little sandstone. What well, did it look like? The type of thing that I summoned with my holy symbol? Yes, it looks just like that. All right, I have no idea how to interpret that. I was like, <laughs> I'll like frustratedly kick sand into the water and be like, you know, you can talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> Archie will watch all this fascinated. Yeah. He thinks this is all part of the ritual as well. You asked if you were on the right path. Is that what it was? Yeah, if like staying in this place was like the right mm -hmm. move to kill Father Hubert. Um, and like, if and he was the response was a was Rohi's own symbol. His own holy <laughs> symbol is what he gave you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hi. I think that... I think we're good, Archie. I think we're on the right path. I think yeah. there's no issues here. We've got it in the bag. It's like if we were talking on Discord and you were like, you think this thing we're doing is working? I just sent you a picture of myself. <laughs> 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 uh. Not a bad sign, right? It's yeah. not like a... <laughs> but th th those are the two things I wanted to do, was the armor, and um, that's it. One. Do you wear the armor, or do you just like keep it for uh, future purposes? I keep I keep it for future purposes. Uh, well, everybody, please take home experience time three thousand two hundred and fifty experience points, and that covers. I love a thirty-two K, right? Sounds about right. Two eight six two, yeah. Three thousand two hundred and fifty, did you say? Three two five zero. Plus ten percent. Plus ten percent, oh. yeah. 
So that should be three five seven five. Yes. Man, if I had a pirate fact every day that I came on, I would be leveled up by now. Mm hmm. I have a pirate fact I could give you. Oh, you didn't get a chance to your pirate fact, so. True. No. Now would be okay. a good chance. I'll no. save it. I'll save it. Oh. Okay. It's a good one. It's worth it at an opening of an episode, okay? Mm. Save it after you level up for maximum XP. <laughs> True, actually, because I did just do that. <laughs> did you? Yeah, nice. I think I'm level six. I'm Ooh. falling behind. This might be the highest level character I've ever had, actually. I wonder why, Nick. <laughs> yeah. It's almost, it's almost like Rogues had uh, the gold thing. Yeah, so there was something, wasn't there? There was some other way to get XP, but it was strange, I don't know. It's weird, you know? Yeah. Well, you're also multi-classed, so of course you're falling behind. Well, yeah, I did start two levels higher, though, but yeah. Mm. Alright, I'm only level five. How much XP do you have now, Sale? Uh, 29,000... Uh, 29,325. Right, oh, Will. Wait, no, I did level. Roll nice. me a 1d8 for more hit points. Alrighty. Wow. I had to roll low sometime. Yeah. Um, maybe not the best set of hit points you've ever gotten. Um, so uh, add that plus to two your... for con? Yes, you have 16 con. Yes. And please take two more hit points. Wonderful. Hell yeah, 40 HP. Holy fuck. That is insane. <laughs> For level six, so your total attack bonus. My auto scatter. A level six cleric should have plus three to hit for levels. Let's take a look at your character sheet right now. On your combat tab, um, in the upper right hand corner where it says hit adjust, that should be a three. There we go. That's essentially a plus one to hit with all your weapons. Additionally, at sixth level, you get an additional third level spell that you can memorize every day. Sweet. I can double call roll lightning. One. I'm going to be really ashamed of you. Um, For your HP. At level six, a cleric also gets a new... And see, I believe you get a new non-weapon. Double check, though. Non-weapon proficiency is every level divisible by three. Yes. So a new non-weapon proficiency. It can be something from that list, which I can relink you if you need, or it can I, I be an idea got it, that you just have on hand. Whatever you want, I leave it up to you to think about for now. Nick, you say you leveled as a rogue or as a fighter? Fighter. No, I'm now level five fighter, level five rogue. Okay, so you're I leveled be... by 27 XP there. Hmm. Close. Thank God you did. Here it uh, comes. You, you did all those great pirate fucks. Pirate fucks, fucks. yeah. Mm -hmm. nope. So... You think I get what? D10 plus 1 divided by 2? Yes. Uh, um, Neil, right? I bet you 100 XP that it's less than 3. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Why don't you roll low then and just inverse the number? If you're so confident, it's gonna no, be. No, I can't do that because I'll, I'll be so fucking annoyed. <laughs> if it's like a turn, I'll be. I, can't, I actually can't live it. No, you... I take it back. No bets because if I fail, then I'll de-level. So that's fucked up. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Yes. Yeah, I know you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, Let's see. Take away hit point. And make uh... you roll again. You'd gain the two or whatever, <laughs> and then we'd have you yeah. roll for how much you lose. <laughs> that'd be awful. Okay, let's go. I, I think I'm gonna get a four. A four plus one. Four plus one. You use seven. Oh my god. What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Just... <laughs> That's a what detail. Do, man? <laughs> For those of you that haven't seen <laughs> the last like five years of Nick playing Dungeons and Dragons, this is every time. Every character, every time. Every fucking character. <sighs> Nick, Nick, Nick. Uh... Uh...
Jesus Christ. What are you gonna do, man? I'll just listen, Nick. I'll just fly you out next session. I'll have you play on my okay. computer so you can roll. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I'll roll it on yours. Yeah. <laughs> um, I get slightly better saves, plus one to hit. Do mm -hmm. I get any proficiencies at this level? Uh, level five? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay, that's everything. Anyone else level? Nope. No, Koibu. Missing like 3k. Missing 9k. Mm. Anything you want to do with the town while you've got it? Nilrum, any conversations you want to have? Yeah, Nilrum's going to go door to door, unironically. He's uh -huh. looking for a smart kid. And he's going to do it under the guise that the White Prince is coming. And he needs to make sure that there isn't anyone super smart on this island that they're going to look for. Um, so that's why he's going door to door to do the to do the test, because he was the one who got out originally, mm -hmm. like when he was young. All right. Um, if you can make me a successful charisma check, we can bypass all the RP and we can just mechanically run this. Otherwise, you're gonna have to convince some of these people to let you speak to their children. Ah, not a problem. Easy peasy. So, gimme gimme. I'm to steal kids. Call me Peter Pan. <laughs> Nine, ten. All right. Here are the. Here are ten children. Sixteen. Sixteen's not bad. Out of five. <clears throat> two. Yeah, he's gonna tell the parents with a five that that kid ain't gonna cut it. You know. But they already know. They know. Yeah. The they, 16. They give you the, like, we weren't very worried. He's interested. <sighs> um, I'm is trying to think worth, of what I'd roll. Is it worth investing in a child with yeah, only know, 16 int? What if you come across a 17 int person later? You know, then you're going to have to throw away all that time with this one? Yeah. What are all d20? On a 19 or 20, he'll be interested in the child on anything else he's not interested uh, no not interested he tells them that the kid um thinks that it's really smart but it's actually incredibly dumb um he gives a, the kid a big talking to and lets him know that he isn't worth the white prince's time and he has nothing to be worried about but he's really mean about everything no one shatters this kid's confidence wow <clears throat> yeah okay oh. now is the time to talk about ship about father hubert about the potential bodyguards he might have month is beginning to fade away pretty quickly i think the goal that should work is we do what we saw we have the one prince white prince dude standing here ready and we literally should be able to shoot Lightning bolts here, and Nilrum can be hiding somewhere on the dock, and when they get close, he can also shoot a lightning bolt. What? Well, and then we have to be ready because the high HP guys won't die. They'll like they'll end up on shore, so we've got to be ready to like finish them off when they wash up. They're gonna be in plate mail and stuff, probably. Maybe. And yeah. You know what happens to people who are in this fucking ocean with yeah, yeah. swimming rules. I mean, True. will they even be wearing armor coming into town? They're probably expecting a peaceful town. Um, as well, well, I mean, I, we might want to loot them, though, right? Well, we could yeah, dive my, down and get their bodies. We can dive and get it. My characters wear armor anywhere they go, and I assume most people would wear their armor going into a new town. It's like a status thing, first off. Um, you're if it's heraldry, yeah. Town. If you're, like, showing off, like, Oh, I've got my flags and my cool. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that they're going to be, like, big dickin'. So full armor on, like, looking the best that they can as they come into the town. Yeah, that's my guess. So I think swimming rules will get them. And I think that the lightning bolt should do a lot of damage to the boat. And then no room can finish anybody who comes on the shore off um, just by staying ranged with magic missiles or lightning bolts. <clears throat> Wow. Worst case, they have to come on the shore and RG can fuck them up, but you guys can tell me if you think otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think the alternative plan is to somehow lure them to the keep and then ambush them at the keep. I think an advantage of this plan is that heat metal 
isn't so easily dealt with. Um, disadvantages that we don't get the chance to like drown them in the water, which is pretty pretty good. So it's probably probably better to attack the ship with the lightning. My issue is that what if they are able to react in time? Because I think the cleric will probably know pretty quickly the core lightning's being cast. Um, so, can you if, explain to me how we've seen in the past? I guess all of us. How does the sky actually change? Because there's already a storm overhead. Right. So the current storm that's swirling around is huge. It's a giant maelstrom that covers like my, you know, hundreds of miles in diameter. Um, when you've seen call lightning cast, the immediate area around you begins to darken and intensify. And if you're paying attention, it's not something that's like necessarily easy to notice. If you didn't know what to look for, or even if you did know what to look for, but you didn't happen to be like in your mind thinking about it or like gazing up at the sky, you could easily miss it. But there will be like a slightly more localized um, storming effects. There are, you know, certain a um, little bit more thunder will appear. If there's already like thunder and lightning, you wouldn't notice that. But if it's just like a normal gentle day and you might, notice a very distant sound of rumble um or like you know you might mistake the gentle rain that comes for some sea spray that gets kicked up these things are pretty easy to not detect if you're not specialized in in looking for spells um mm -hmm. for someone like sale who casts the spell the the fine details of it stand out a hell of a lot more to you sale than they do to even nilrum who's brilliant and a genius by all measures but you're intimate with this spell you you know exactly what it feels like and exactly how all the small details work together um does that answer your question or did i just ramble about nothing in particular i think you basically said that someone who casts a spell will be able to tell the fine details whereas mm -hmm. a regular peasant might think it's just a storm yeah over the so a cleric who is able to cast this spell, who is outside with a clear view of the sky when it gets cast, might notice there's going to be a there would be a die roll involved, yeah, um, and they might totally miss it, or they might be able to pick up on it right away. But, but we should would... be able to cast it close enough, especially with Nilrum's in. He should be able to like, uh, he won't be up there in the tower. So never mind. We should be able to get around where we think that they're close enough in that they can't just like turn away turning a boat is a difficult thing depending on the boat of course you know if they're in a little rowboat it would be very easy for them to just like immediately switch mm -hmm. and you turn and get the hell out of there because it's a 10 minute casting time but if they're in like a proper sailboat and it's like sailing up to the dock, it takes a while to stop that thing, to turn that thing around, to row it back out or to, you know, catch the right winds or the right tides. Um, depending on their vessel and depending on how fast they notice, they could easily be trapped. I don't think that sail should be in the tower though because for the subsequent lightning bolts it'd be nice for him to have an eye on the people in case yeah he, he doesn't have, yeah i agree get extra shots he just um, has him hidden, but yeah so i think arch and i hide well i think all of us just like hide in the woods essentially wait for them to turn up have the guard greet them yeah mm -hmm. just blast them when they get close oh yeah. well, we, we can hit them in the dark as well because of turn on dead um yeah a few of them i think absolutely Turn on dead should be used as a last resort because if the cleric and the fighter have good gear, which they might do if they're like high level we'll bodyguards, get. yeah, it'll be lost to the depths. So, last resort, definitely. But if we're winning, then probably mm -hmm. kill them first, yeah. loot them, and then you can send them. The summoning Rohi to the, the turn on dead type ability, you're going to have to be real close for. You won't be able to do it from a, a huge range. You'll have to be like in and amongst them practically might yeah. not work if they're high level enough anyway right if it's like turn on dead we can thin the henchmen if they have them that's true yeah so it might actually be safe to use on the henchmen because it might not hurt the big guys um in preparation for this how's the blood in the tower looking has it um been washed, oh, it's off washed over away the yeah of the weeks? it's been a month um the the birds have eaten all the flesh from the bodies the blood has washed Ooh, away so it's bones up there now uh yeah bones that's cool it's bone in like the the symbol, right? Still chilling. Yep. The birds will sort of disturb the carcasses, and you can keep going back and rearranging them I'll or pushing so. them this place that way. Um, 
You could even just arrange the scattered bones in a spiral if you want. Is yeah. that something Did you we, want? Um, I'll do one nice spiral. Was there no, there was no magic gear inside the keep, right? Mm -mm. The cleric's yeah. holy symbol. Can I have got no room to remove the beacon that's probably on it? There was no beacon on the holy symbol. Okay. Yeah. No magic in this campaign, Nick. No, but the holy symbol of the cleric in Flotsam was beacon, remember, so. Oh. If you recall. Mm -hmm. But this guy was an acolyte, so perhaps not as a. Uh... I don't know if I can remove beacons yet. Not as important no, anyway. Yeah. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. It's not there. Um, and even if it was, it'd be in the keep, which is where we'd expect to find it, so. Um, Are you ready? Yeah, I mean, I think I think that's it. I need to have a talk with the guard to make sure he knows what his role is. I think that this should go off without a hitch. My thinking is because we literally cleared out a whole town of people who would inform if there was issues. Um, and I think that's the hardest legwork that needs to be done. Most ships sailing in wouldn't expect that. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I want to talk with the guard, make sure he knows the plan. And uh, yeah. like the day before, we'll all make sure we go down to the beach and work out the best positions for everyone to be stood. Uh, oh. I show the guard the vial that I have of his hair with mm -hmm. the symbol out of his own blood. Mm -hmm. And I let him know that if he does anything to tamper with our mission, I will hunt down all of his family. This has his uh, signature on it and it will lead me directly to them. And he's seen what I can do. Now, is this an empty threat? Private, Are you actually yeah. going to hunt down his whole family? That would deviate all of your plans <laughs> or is this an idle threat? Um, Not that he would live long enough to know one way or the other. Nilrim would, ev it wouldn't be like a, he'll say it might not be tomorrow. It, not, it might not be next week. It might not be next month, but I will get around to it. And I will make them suffer like you've suffered, but worse. And he's deadly serious. All right. The guard has been informed. Cool. The, hmm? No, just cool. Yeah, sorry. Uh, the plan has been laid. All that remains is to wait. Wait yeah. for Father Hubert to arrive. So Every you guys... day, I want to go to the beach and ask, is Father Hubert coming today? Good idea. <laughs> on the day? Every day. Every like, day. On the, on, the, on the way up to it. <laughs> I want to make sure, in case he arrives early. Um, day after day, you search the waves and the tide pools for the answers. And day after day, the waves just sort of disperse your sand and disperse your sand and disperse until one day you drizzle some sand on the 14th of February. And instead of being washed away like it has been time and time again, it forms the symbol of Rohi, a, a stone of sand standing up impossibly in the water that disintegrates and disappears as soon as you touch it. Okay, I'll let the gang know that today's the day. Fantastic. All right, steal yourselves. I will warn the peasants to stay inside their homes. Unless, wait, okay. yeah. would it be obvious from their boat that something was amiss if people weren't? Absolutely. Around in the dock. Yeah, okay, so yeah, never mind. I, I don't go. do that then. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's in the mid afternoon that you can see the ship approaching. What range is called Lightning Sail? 320 yards? 360 yards? 1,000 feet. <laughs> nice, okay. Good, it's good range. Yeah. The timing of it is the big thing. I should probably be near Neil room so he can tell me when yeah, to start Yeah, I'll be near him and I'll um, use my 18 intelligence to do the timing correctly. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can start casting it on a, an area before the ship's in range, right? It's, quite, it's, like, a ch it's like a channel to prep yeah. it and then yeah. fire it. Right, okay. So, Neil so like a... you're yeah. familiar with ships, but you're not intimately familiar with this particular spell. So give me an intelligence check at disadvantage. Oh my god, it actually happened. I, I ask for these checks all the time because I always expect you to pass them, and every now and then, 
one of them. Yeah, but you gave it to me at disadvantage, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This doesn't mean it completely fucks up, it just means I didn't get it right. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like a wound Jip to me. Comes into mm. the harbor. Excuse me. Nilrum's a little eager. Um, you call out a little too early when the appropriate time is. But that doesn't mean all is lost. We still have to see if the clerics on board even notice. What is this? Do any of you guys have a spyglass or some sort yes. of distance observation tool? Yeah, I've got a spyglass, yeah. Yeah, you'll see the top sails of this vessel arriving. That's a, a two-masted ship. Uh, what do we call them? Where's the Ardennes? A galleon. Maybe. Um, this is a a clipper ship. Sorry, well, uh, technically, it's a, a runner. It's a medium-sized ship designed for maximum wind power and then a whole bunch of oars on top of it. Uh, and you can see on the deck of this ship, there are, you know... Um, Wait, you should roll for the weather, too. That's it. Of the day. True. That is true. Oh, no. oh God. <laughs> you know what that means? It means it's fucking raining hard. Counters, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ship life, spells. I hide it over here somewhere. I thought I put the weather table. It's a nice, clear, easy day. Okay. From the, from your position in town, you can see the folks on board. You can see um, the sailors working to trim the sails. The the oars being powered by what must be at least twenty four rowers. Uh, there's eight people in the rigging, and then there appears to be like fifteen people on deck. Um, lining either side of the ship, standing at attention. Their brilliant, gleaming brass shields glinting sunlight in your direction. Uh, their uniforms cleanly pressed, the flag of the White Prince flying high. And at the prow of the ship, there is what appears to be a knight of some kind, shielding his eyes against the sun as he looks out in your direction. Cleric on deck as well. Can I lawyer something as well? Uh, let me roll these dice first. I think that a one on the end check means Nilrum has no idea when to actually cast it. Um, so it could be... Well, never mind, actually. You know what? Fuck that. Unfortunately for the cleric on deck, they have 10 perception and botch their check to search the skies. So eager are they to see the town coming up that they don't look up. Uh, and you can get your spell off. Sail. The clouds can churn. They can form the terrifying swirl above without any counter casting from the ship. As it pulls in towards the harbor, the rower is pulling hard. I tell Sale probably previously, we've probably talked about this. The best place for the call lightning, what do we think it is? It's probably the um, the rudder. Mm. Well, the rudder is pretty well protected. You'd really need mm. to be behind the ship to see the rudder well. I feel like the um, center of the ship is more likely to crack and it might set the sails on fire. I, I was going to say, we actually want to hit a side, because if we take out one side of rowers, your yeah. ship's not going anywhere. You can't, like, if you blast off one side where you row from, you're just, you're, you're done. 
Yeah, I think we. I, I agree with that. We take off a side, and then water is gonna start to like peel in too, and it's gonna tip eventually. I, I think that that's good. I also have a center mass. Yeah, it's an issue. A, a question for the turn on dead thing. Can I like turn on dead on the ship rather than the people? So Rohi like grabs the ship and holds. We had talked about that, and I think that we talked. Yeah, I, I think, think that's that a thing option. that will come at higher power levels when your turning ability is stronger and stronger. Yeah, you can could consider the ship now. like a you know a ten or a twenty or thirty <clears throat> hit die creature depending on the size of the ship. Gotcha. Keep in mind um, on the turn on dead table. I'm pretty sure if you roll a twenty at like X level, you can do some pretty crazy shit now. Awesome. I I, do agree well. I think though we agree that I should aim for one of the sides of the ship to try and take out rowers and anyone nearby. Yeah. Maximum collateral damage. Yeah, I will. Um, so uh, just remind me again, there's like two rows of soldiers on each side of the ship and then a knight at the prow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to attack one of the sides. Ideally, you know, if there's rowers or whatever. I'm yeah, the rowers are on like a deck below so that only the oars stick out. You can't really see the rowers, but you can see all the oars working in tandem perfectly. And on the top deck, the, the infantry men standing there, they all look like light infantry, not the heavy guards that you've seen here. And um, in terms of timing, I think when do we want me to actually launch this Right battle? now. This is it. Yeah, right Nilrum now. told yeah, you when he thought oh. to go and uh Well or wasn't sure. That that was to start well, casting. That was to start fire. casting. Oh I he see. He should be in range to fire. Yeah. Well, when do you want to do you want to do it while they're all attached to the dock? Do you want them to do it when they're at the very minimum uh when they're at maximum range? Probably like three hundred and like like 300 yards away. No. Where is that though on the actual away. dock, right? Because we've talked about positioning you in town, um, yeah. but are you positioned so that maximum range is just the dock or did you position so maximum range is out into the ocean a little bit? This is on you, I think sale. maximum, or yeah. You can you know, clearly get advice uh, from whoever you want. Well, me and Nilrim would have positioned, we would have like talked about like, okay, we're, they're gonna come in from We this want angle. them a little bit out in the ocean because we don't want them to be able to dock immediately. Yeah, we want to take like two rounds, three rounds to dock, right? Yeah, well, probably like five minutes to dock if possible. So we can get them like in a hutch where we can just keep blasting them with it. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah, sure. So once they reach that point, that's when I'll fire and I will do. Is it 70? Keep in mind, you just leveled. Oh, oh it's true. actually 88. That's disgusting. Oh, oh Jesus my God. Amazing roll. I scream <laughs> as it goes off. What do you scream? It's just, it's unintelligible. Like, it sounds like a crab dying. <laughs> <laughs> Archie pops off. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> what a weird thing to say. <laughs> I was going to say an animal. I was like, nah, I'm a, I'm a very good Rohi. It's going to be a crab. The lightning bolt streaks from the sky, colliding with the side of the ship. Sailors, soldiers get thrown all over the place. The knight grabs onto the railing. The cleric skids to the side. It's chaos as water splashes and thunder deafens your uh, Normal said, we need another one as soon as possible, so. I'm still and yelling. And our ship, how much HP? Um, a clipper has deck points. The ship immediately lists to the side and sail. You can hear, you can see, you can feel in the clouds above that your already channeled um, call lightning spell is being accompanied by a newly channeled call lightning spell. Someone on that ship is able to cast it as well and is beginning to create that storm. Now, 
you're going to get a bolt every 10 minutes, and it takes 10 minutes to cast, so you should be able to get another bolt somewhere right around the time that they're finishing up their channel before they can fire one off at you, so you'll get at least one more in. They should have no idea where he is, though. Uh, yeah, that's a whole separate question, is where yeah, the guy okay. is. Should I would think he's in the fucking tower. Save here. Oh, it's a natural one on the saving throw. Oh, With no. that damage and a natural one on the save, the whole ship is like tilted to the side and it's moving forward carried by its existing momentum, but it is listing hard in the heart. People falling in, I asked John. Mm -hmm. You can see a few people sliding. Yes. In. Um, most importantly, all the oars stop. They just, they're all done. Um, they just kind of hang there on the sides of the ship, sticking out awkwardly. Drum stopped. I'll, I'll let the party know. Someone else is casting uh, Call Lightning. They're trying to fire back. All right, Ships, I have no idea up? where you ever are. Uh, no room will start taking control like a fucking commander, and he'll point at John, he'll point at um, Archie. We need to get to the shore, and we need to kill the survivors. You, mm -hmm. us three, let's go. Sail, you need to keep casting, and then we go. If, what, if we go on the shore, they'll see us for the call lightning. Um, that's we true. We look like anybody else. We look like anybody else willing to help out. I I'm sure that thought. there's tons of. You have weapons so at your it... sides. You don't well, look me, like ordinary but... civilians. Let's keep ourselves hidden for now until the second bolt. All right, I agree. Sure. Uh, I don't even know how the call lightning is going off due to the fact of the ship is healed at the side. The person spell casting should be Omega. Yeah, well, hopefully it's going to be interrupted yeah. with the second, with the second mm -hmm. shot. Yeah. Sale, let us know. Yeah, I will. You can see from here on in your hidden place in town that the knight up front has whipped out a dagger and is like furiously holding on to a railing while cutting the straps of their armor, um, taking off their breastplate that they were wearing, um, just willing to sacrifice it to the sea below. Yeah. The sailors, the soldiers who just had shields and padded armor, drop their weapons, take off their shields, and throw themselves into the water. Someone tosses in one of the little dinghies on the side. Uh, some people are clearly flailing in the water, helpless and unable to help themselves. We've got 10 minutes before the next bolt of lightning comes from sail. And in this time, the ship sort of just meanders towards shore while most of the people uh, throw themselves off. When your next bolt comes, Sail, where do you go with it? Uh, in the intervening minutes, I would have asked the captain for the spyglass, assuming he's still near me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I would be, I would be looking for somebody like braced and who looked like they were like channeling a spell. Casting the like spell, like yeah. Well, I'll try and spot him first. I've seen you do it. I just watched you do it a couple <laughs> of weeks ago. And yeah, then I'll, tell, I'll tell you where to look if I can see um... him. I would like a perception check. You've got a spyglass. I think you've got time. Normal perception check is all I need from you, Nick. Not advantage with the spyglass? You get it because you have the spyglass. Yeah, you can even... The only reason you can tell is because of the spyglass. It is a little bit too chaotic over there. There are a lot of people moving about. Not everyone is going into the sea. There's a movement of sailors. Rigging is now awkwardly strewn over here. Um, plus there are some like indoor sections that someone could be. They could be entirely indoors casting the spell and completely hidden and only like come out at the very end to cast the, the final bolt. Um, you don't spot- Go center a mass, sail. Yeah. A, a channel. Get it from the sail's got time. I mean, I, I hand him the spyglass to say, I can't find him. Um, would I maybe get another? Ch My perception is awful. Do I get a chance to have a look? Uh, no, the, he's. Uh, you can look through the spyglass, but you'll uh, have the same results. He's nowhere to be seen. Um, I'll put the spyglass away and draw my sword. Yeah, I'll just go center mass and I'll blast uh, as close to center mass as I can. To I assume it's listing, so I'd like try to like. I'm basically trying to crack the ship into it at this yeah. point because I don't think it's. Give me another lightning bolt. Less good, but still Ooh, yeah. a lot of damage. It strikes on the mast itself, splitting the mast partway, setting the sails on fire, burning the rigging, throwing a sailor to their salty death below. Um, and then, let's see where you guys are. Gonna check at disadvantage because their ship's sort of on fire and in trouble. 3d6 plus six. 
No. They cannot find you. They don't see you anywhere. Uh, but it's this time, after the second bolt has landed on the ship, that the first few infantrymen who threw themselves into the water uh, and have been able to swim or can wash up on shore have done so. There are five yeah. people getting to the shore and pulling their shit together. Two of them managed to retain their spears the whole way through. Well, I think we charge down at them at this point. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fuck them. Nilrim will, um... Well, Nilrim will enlarge Archie. Nope. Did I, I... I'm back at full health, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a month. Yeah. <clears throat> We're all at full health. You're at all at full armor. The soldiers on the beach immediately drop their weapons and rout. They run, some to the east, some to the west, just getting away from whoever the fuck this is charging them. The knight on the boat have all the morale they need, but do they know how to swim? <laughs> Here's the roll for the night. Well, we don't see them again. <laughs> okay. Do our clerics shit. have a water breathing spell on hand? Dare get that? Any casting level? a different spell? Oh, no. I assume. <laughs> spell water breathing yes hmm. and how many people does water breathing affect as many as you want because you can divide the duration Ooh, i didn't know that there's a few versions of water breathing nice <laughs> minimum of one half hour per character mm -hmm. i think it is excellent can she cast that when she's casting the other spell can you cast multiple spells at a time call lightning says once you finish the initial channeling you can do other things including casting spells um, yeah, but she hasn't yet, right? Maybe her call lightning got interrupted. Maybe there are mm -hmm. multiple clerics on board. You don't see much else. A few of the, the lowly soldiers that do wash up on shore uh, near you immediately are surrendering or just like coughing up so much water that they there's no fight in them. Some scatter, but the knight and the cleric or clerics or knights... Um, are nowhere to be seen. And Father so-and-so? Father Hubert is nowhere to be seen. Have we got water breathing spells? We do. We do. Looks like we're going in after him. Is one ready? Right. Did someone oh, prepare ready. water breathing? No. Mm. Um, we're just gonna stay on the shore then. Yeah. yeah. What about the sailors or the soldiers who wash up and are clearly surrendering? Do you put them down I'm or do you up. let them live? They're surrendering. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want. We uh, tie them yeah. up. Excellent. All right, they I can... ask Captain Winners. Yeah, yeah. Let them surrender. Yeah. Excellent. We tie them up. You can tie them up. And without really swinging a single weapon, the battle is more or less over. The ship is badly damaged. It's massed on fire. The side of it has a huge hole. The hole has a huge hole. Sail, are you doing something with the third lightning bolts? It looks like it's not going anywhere, and um, either everyone's off it or are on it while it slowly begins to sink. Um, I'll talk to the crew. Do you want me to keep blasting anyone who's alive? Uh, sink the sink the ship. Yeah, I'll be. I'm gonna anyone. ask the sailors. Was Captain Hubert on your ship, or was Father Father Hubert on your ship? Yes, I affirm that he was. Can he swim? They don't know. He's an old man. Sil, so, you're gonna need to ask your god. Um, the drowned god will know if their lives have been taken to the sea. Uh, use your lightning bolts on the ship. Finish it off. Yeah, I'll, I'll fire another bolt off at the ship. Yeah, uh -huh. another bolt crashes into the side of it for a bunch of damage. Uh, the ship rolls another natural one and just splits in twain, and that's it for it. It's gone. There's no one left on it. Anyone who's on that ship is now underwater. Is So, my thought here is, could I, like, do I have to be able to see Father Hubert to say, turn undead him? Or could I just kind of say, he's out there, get him, Rohit? You have to have, like, a line of sight you I have think. to summon your god's energy on something specific gotcha okay 
Well, I think we need to keep watch along yeah. the shoreline in case these people show up. Because if I was them, I'd be walking along the shoreline. Absolutely. Looking to come on some other part of the island. So, But which way? Yeah. Wait, we split in two. Two this... goes left. Hmm, that's tough. This will have to be a solution for another day. Maybe they've all drowned yep. and it's all over. Maybe they've escaped somewhere with the help of magic or the help of their god. Um, but for now... Yeah, I'm next week. For now, yep. it's all over. Uh, cool. And that'll wrap us up for this week. We've gotten experience. We've gotten all the things. Anyone have any shout-outs? Anything they want to say before we go? Make sure if you like the content, subscribe to the Patreon to, to, to support the campaign and uh, check out the subreddit or something. I don't know. It's super yeah. easy. Patreon.com slash Tides of Death. We're near being fully funded. Um, if you want, if you subscribe to the Patreon, you can ask questions. And we have two quick questions to go. Ooh. What plans do you have for improving your base? Um, I think we need to get a lot of people inside our base to start running all of the stuff so we have like a glass forge we have like a blacksmith place um what do you think any of you a gym for archie to train people in punching in <laughs> yeah i think you know the obvious stuff like metalworking and all that yeah. kind of stuff um just to get it sort of more nicely decorated would be nice you know because right now i imagine it's just sort of old stone walls might be nice to get a few more uh luxurious items in there but um Some art pieces yeah yeah a few more staff, a bit more working rooms and uh, some artwork and stuff, yeah. Next question. <clears throat> oh, wise Koibu, you mentioned in the past episode the salty ship missed opportunity. Could you share any more interesting encounters slash missions that were skipped and therefore lost through the party members' decisions? Both time-sensitive like the salt ship or not, your pick. Keep up the great work. Oh, man. You know, I usually like to keep a lot of these things close to the chest. I like the idea that if the party doesn't bother to investigate it, then it'll just be a, a forever unknown. Um, but I, I respect the question. So other things that we have missed. I've got a couple of notes over here. Well, there was the real magic fish instead of the fake magic fish they came across. Yeah, I'll start. <laughs> uh, we had... There was... Where's my big map? So much. Oh, I talk there are there are lots of things that have been missed, but they're all still in the chamber right now. All the good ones, all the fun ones to tell you about are yeah. like still out there. And I don't want to say if you go to this island that we didn't that we casually skipped over, there is yeah, a Yeah, because we could go back. Blah 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 yeah. blah 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 there. Uh so what is Did we miss some cool stuff with the bard? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a bard. He was, just, he was just a cool NPC. He yeah. was just a cool NPC, you know. There was some stuff on White Sands and Yuma and Deadwood with the thieves in the desert that was kind of cool. Um, and Did you the, have some sort of other storyline for, for the Goblin Island? Because we kind of took that into our own hands. My DMing philosophy is it matters how and why you do the things you do, but not necessarily what you do. So there were lots of ideas for things that were happening in Crob Street, um, but I usually don't come up with a, I expect the party to come here and yeah. then do X, Y, Z. It's more of like, here's a cool environment. Let's see what they do. Um, yeah. So the quest lines are more open-ended and like, in the town of Crob Street, it's split, and there's uh, the Inquisitor on one side, and the other side is a little bit softer and a little bit more open, and they don't quite have the same protection, and there's goblins in the woods. And then on the other side, where the Inquisitor is, there's not very many goblins, and there's a hell of a lot more civilization, there's more money, there's more wealth, and it's more of like setting up the world and letting the party go for it. So aside from the quest that I've specifically called out, like there's a ship full of salt or your god tells you to come and fuck up this one dude in particular. 
Um, all the other good quest lines are still in play, and I don't want to spoil them. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all the questions that we have. Um, make sure you check out the Reddit, reddit.com slash or slash Koibu. There should be a thread up right now. You can discuss the episode. I think that's it from us. Yeah, I think that's We're it. Next week, same time. Same time, same place. See you all next, next week, week yeah. for more Tides of Death. Bring your Have a good pirate night, facts. Everyone. Good night. Bring your pirate Bye. facts. See you Bye. later.